milk, crate, marauder. Idea for today's show. What about this? You ever seen a TV show Password? Password? Well, Password don't mean like six passwords. Right. What's going to happen is we're going to uh, have a listener come in who's going to try and win a trip to Nantucket. Courtesy of our good friends at Nantucket Nectars. Now, make sure Beetlejuice is not winning the trip. Right. Beetlejuice, this guy's going to try and get you to say a word. All right? If he can get you to say a word, he wins. I don't know. I don't. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's meet our listener. Our new game show, Beetlejuice Password. That's right. That's right, Beetlejuice. This is a hard one, too. This is a hard game. (laughs) It ain't easy. Here's a gentleman we found on our street. Uh, Believe it or not, he comes to us. He wants to win a trip. Three days, two nights, vacation in Nantucket, courtesy of the Juice Guys at Nantucket Nectars, and of course, Priceline.com helping us out with that airfare. We love it. We love Priceline. How are you, my friend? What's your name? And sign in, please. Uh, Steve. Uh, Steve. And Upstate Steve, where are you from? Upstate New York, Saratoga Springs. You're on uh, tourism kind of thing? Yeah. So, just checking out the city a little bit? Yeah, I have relatives in Jersey. And What have right. you been doing for fun since you're here in Manhattan? Uh, what the Central Park yeah, the, uh, the other day. And, yeah. Beautiful park, right? Yeah. It's like, you can't believe it exists in the middle of Manhattan. No. <laughs> well, let me tell you, you don't have an easy task. It sounds easy when I explain the game, but uh, Beetlejuice Yeah, you is... better just give him the game. Everybody go up at Central Park. By Everybody the way, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what is your name again? Steve. Steve, with me, Beetlejuice. This is you, the guy you're playing with, Beetlejuice. You'll be playing with Beetlejuice. You'll be playing with Beetlejuice. And uh, have you seen the old TV show, Password? No, I haven't. All right, let me tell you how it works. We're going to tell you a word that you have to get Beetlejuice to say. But you can't use the word. You can't use the word. You can't use a form of the word. Okay. You can say other words. For example, if the word was uh, uh, run, if I gave you, you would say walk or, you know, whatever. And, 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 and Beetlejuice would say run. Or maybe he'd say something else. <laughs> right. Howard? Yes. It, it also, they're, they're only allowed to give one word as a clue. Is that correct? That's right. Run. One word at a time. Oh, okay. And we'll give you uh, like 10 clues that you can give him, but and he has to respond. And a half a day. <laughs> if you can get people just to say one of these words, I'll give you three chances, three different words. Oh, boy. If you can get him to say one word, I'll send you on this vacation. Great. All right. Beetlejuice, put on these new headphones so you don't hear the word as I tell the audience. I'm just, I'm just switching it out. Oh, okay. You got to... Music in his headphones. You are? Okay. Ah. Keep the headphones on, Beat. All right. The password is... I love this. Beetlejuice is listening. No, no, he can't hear. We have music on. All right. I can hear it. Okay. The password is bicycle. What did he just say, Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice, you didn't hear it, right? Okay, here we go. And Steve is preparing. And let's turn off the music. All right. Beetlejuice, listen to Steve. He's going to try and get you to say a word. Go ahead. Paddling. Paddling? Paddling means a protect. Mm-hmm. That's not it. Go ahead. Second clue. Go ahead. What do you say? I don't know, but it wasn't, wasn't the answer. Go ahead. Peter, just try and guess the word he's trying to get you to say. Go ahead. Handlebars. Handlebars? Bike. Uh, ooh. Well, there it is. Is that the judges? Are they going to accept bike? You did it. That's not the exact word. Oh, Robin. <laughs> Pete, you did it. Ah, wow. You did it. Oh, you're thinking, Cap, with you today, huh? What the hell did that happen? That yeah. stupid word, by the way. the whole thing. <laughs> That's amazing. That's the word. I just want to see if he can do it again. All right, put the music on and see if Steve can do it again. <laughs> you already won the trip. Oh, this whole thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The password is computer. Computer. All right, here we go. Hey, Steve. You know Steve, you're a good player. All right, Steve, uh, let's see. We've already won the trip, but this is just for laughs. <laughs> All right, Steve's going to try and get you to say a word, Beetlejuice. Go ahead. Gigabyte. Oh. Speckpot. <laughs> Speckpot is not the answer. Not it. Not it. Oh. <laughs> I knew Give him another clue. <laughs> Give him another clue, Steve. You're doing good. <laughs> Keyboard. Stateboard. Okay. All right. And one more clue. More like Go ahead. Mm. This is the game we were looking yes. for. Yes. Right. I started with the wrong word. <laughs> I only blame myself. Go ahead, Steve. One more clue for Beetlejuice. Mouse. Cat. 
Yeah, that's 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 Oh, yeah, I don't have to get another prize, don't I? Do we have more prizes? We can play for something else. Got, Howard, I've got 10 of these to give away over the summer. Wow. wow. All right. Let's yeah. try a new oh, contestant. Steve. Steve, thank you very much. Thank you, Steve, you won a three-day, two-night vacation to Nantucket, courtesy of Beetlejuice, the juice guys at Nantucket Nectars, and airfare provided by Priceline.com. Thanks, <laughs> oh, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> wow. And by the way, for information on Beetlejuice's upcoming porno film, go to PicklePilot.com. <laughs> when, I've never happened to the real password. <laughs> You're going to be shooting that in September, I understand, from your manager, Sean. Right. And also, Beetlejuice will be appearing at Foggy Goggles in the Hamptons on July 7th. Mm. For more information and to hire Beetlejuice for appearances or bachelor parties, please go Just to Jolly... Just bachelor parties, that's about it. Right. Jolly Dwarf... Beetlejuice.com. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Jollydwarf.com, actually. And how do you find Beetlejuice.com? Go to Jolly Dwarf. Go to Jolly Dwarf. <laughs> Jollydwarf.com. Oh, he's got a big movie next week. What's the movie opening uh, next week, Pete? Uh, I don't know yet. It's already out in the movies. Uh, scary movie should be coming up soon. Yeah, next week. Yeah, it's coming out next week. Yeah. Did you go to the premiere? No, nah, we're not going there yet. Why? I don't know. <laughs> You know, finally, something Beetlejuice doesn't know. Well, I know. What is it, John? Howard, somebody told me a rumor. Hey, where's the new contestant? Uh, hey, Howard, I just went out there. The guy actually took off. You want, oh, he did. You want to play with uh, a new turn? Uh, okay. I don't know. It's not the same. Yeah. You know what? We do have an intern, Howard, a female intern that works for us, who uh, who uh, is barely going to be able to pay for her tuition this semester. And well, so we're going to give her a trip? Wait for tuition? Well, I mean, we, we have somebody in need that would be fun to play. Does she want a strip? No, I don't think she wants a strip, although she has the same name as this girl does strip. All right, they're bringing Shannon, our new intern. Well, see, hey, Howard? Can't wait yeah. for money I, or I heard a rumor that Beetlejuice is in Men in Black 2. Is that true? So, Will. I look like him, though, but yeah. Well, well, how'd you hear that rumor? Somebody went, I was at the, the premiere last night, and, and you know, someone told you know, me and Doug that he's going to be in, he was, he's shooting Men in Black Men in Black 2. <laughs> well, they are here shooting. Thanks, Steve. Congratulations on your win. Beetlejuice, you. were you on the set with Will Smith? Yeah. Oh. He's like, he, 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 uh, he uh, plays an alien. You were in, uh, in, in, a, in, uh... AI. He's the robot in AI. No. no, come on. That's what I heard. Men in Black 2. You're really a Men in Black 2? Yeah, I was a robot. Good for you. Well, it's a little the... heavy, though. Well, you all want to get into that one. Did, did it pay well? <laughs> oh, yeah. And what did you do with Will Smith? Did you hang out with him afterwards? Yeah. What'd you do? We hanged out, we drank, had fun. Jada Pinkett Smith there as well? Well, we had him all there, yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Um, Shannon is one of our interns. Shannon, would you like to win a trip? Absolutely. We'd love to go to, of course, uh, Nantucket. It's beautiful there. Yeah. Uh, three, uh, three days, two nights. Yeah. Have you ever been to Nantucket? No. No? Never. You get to go with Beetlejuice. No. <laughs> Are you feeling a little shy? Nope. Okay. You're okay. You calm? Win. You want to win badly. Yeah. All right, that's all, right. all we need. Beetlejuice, you're going to play hard for Shannon, all right? <laughs> you better play hard because I'm going to play hardball. All right, here we go, Beetlejuice. I'm going to play with the ass. All right. Oh, come play on. Play with the ass. Come on. All right, you're a big movie ass. star. Don't get her to play with your own ass. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, here we go. The password is window. All right, Beetlejuice, take off his uh, sound. Beat, you ready to play? A password, uh, she's going to try and get you to, Shannon's going to try and get you to say a password. Go ahead, Shannon. I can just say one word. Mm -hmm. One word. Um, screen. Screen? Screen two, baby. Screen two. <laughs> there you go. He's always promoting. Perfect. Close, but not the answer we're looking for. Go ahead. Another clue. We'll give you two more clues. So... Cell phone? Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone, good guess, Beetle, but not the one we're looking for. Shannon, go ahead. Cell phone. Good guess, though. Um. Oh, this is a hard word. Spit it out. Come on. Beetle just says spit it out. Um. I can't 
can't say more than one word. That's yeah. right. Here we are. Here. Curtain. Curtain? Curtain rod, baby. Curtain rod. Close, <laughs> Beetlejuice. Let me see if I can get Beetle to do it since he failed. Glass? It was a glass ball. Pain? Pain? pain. Oh, no, it was glass pain. Blind? Blind. Blind, 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 blind. <laughs> All right, that's the game I was looking for. Yeah. All, right, all right, you didn't get it. The word was window. You came close. Thank you. I didn't get that one. Well, Shannon, you have no money anyway. <laughs> and, uh, you'd probably just have to stay in the hotel the whole time you were in Nantucket anyway. Why is that? Uh, well, because you have no money. What would you do? Because <laughs> she wouldn't do it. She would have been having sex all week. Right. Want to give her another shot, Beetle? Just yeah, yeah. let her try one more word. One more, one more Beetle. Nah, Beetle. Come on, Beetle. Nah. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. Be hard, though. Okay. The password is Beetlejuice. The password is Beetlejuice. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take the music out. And Casey has that all arranged, Beetlejuice. We're going to play the game. Here is the beautiful Shannon, and uh, she's going to try again. Go ahead. You. Me? <laughs> That's not the one we're looking That's for, but close. Well, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I don't think you made its guess yet. You yeah, did. I don't think you did. Uh, oh, yes, you did. Shush. <laughs> um. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Spread it out. Um. He loves to say that. Give me a hint of something. Oh, you're having a hard time. Beetle just is ready. Her? He's ready to, you know. Yeah. Name. Name. Beetlejuice. There you go. Oh, there it is. Say Beetlejuice. There you go. <laughs> you got it. You helped this girl. She's going to Nantucket because of you. Thank you. Love her. <laughs> wow, Beetlejuice. You did You're great. You're some player, Beetlejuice. Once in a while, he gets it right. Yeah. Hey, I'm a man that's a skill. Well, you certainly are. Huh? You got He's skills. You got skills. Pete, you got skills, and you've proven it today. And you, Shannon, are going to Nantucket. <laughs> Thank you. You're going to go there for three days and two nights. I hope you have a great trip, courtesy of the Juice Guys at Nantucket Nectars, airfare provided by Priceline.com. Got somebody you're going to bring with you? Oh, I can find someone. I'm sure you will. Well, uh, congratulations, Shannon, our Thank intern. Thank you very much. Got a way to play the game. Well, there it is, Robin, uh, Beetlejuice Password. Another episode. <laughs> I love it. We got to play this more. Somebody drop down the zone. For what? Right, I've been there. What well, for what? I, I already have... killed the cop before. I, I mean, killed the cop out there my child in jail. Peter, you killed the cop? I'm shocked. Terrible. Really? What are we you doing? I'm a psychopath. You want to see it? Uh-oh. I think we've seen it. <laughs> I think I see it. You're serious about this. I want to dress him up like a cop for the wedding. Yeah, you want to see me dress up and shoot your ass? Maybe for the you wedding, I'll dress see up that? as a cop. You're not carrying a gun right now, are you? Me? Yeah. I might be. Really? Hmm. Jeez, oh, I don't think I would mess with Beetlejuice's sister. If yeah, I Johnny T-Bone, I don't know you. Woman. She's beautiful. I can't keep away from her. Yeah, the best you sex stay I've away from my life. family. The best sex I ever stay had Stay away my from life. my family. Sonia, I love her. Stay away from my family. I can't. Well, if you I'm don't, part of your family now. Well, if you don't, I'm going to break the windows I'm out. part of your family How's now, that? Beetle. All right, let me, let me, Beetle, let me go. Let someone, me ask you a question. Is there... A, someone like, claiming to be your sister is on the phone. I don't know if it really is. Beetle just a sister? Beetle, baby. That's it's not... It's you. I love get, him. Get out of here. Get out of here. Not, that's not his that's sister. Not let me ask you something, Beetle. Yeah. Would you let Howard marry your sister? No, Howard's my friend. All right, I'm not going to... First of all, let me say something. I would never touch <laughs> Beetlejuice's sister because I'm friends with For Beetlejuice. Respect, respect. Out of respect She's to Beetlejuice. Beautiful. If you saw her naked, you'd, you'd change your mind. Hey, I'll bet y'all break your face in. <laughs> Looks like you. She's like Beetlejuice. I'll bet y'all break your face in. Big chest. You want me to break your face in? Big, beautiful <laughs> arms like his. Right. Tattoo on my yeah, name. Yeah, you're going to have a tattoo on the side of your face. <laughs> Beetle, I would never disrespect you or your family. So. She's with me now. No, she I'm ain't. I'm thinking about starting to bring her to the bachelor party. You ain't bringing nobody. You think I could do that? Yeah. Come on the you show with not. her? You better not. I'll bring her on the show after the guys not. come in. You better not. She'll she'll perform fellatio on the winner. Uh, the you better not. No, she wouldn't. Goodness. I have no. never met your sister, sister but I'm sure she's a lovely stuff. girl. She is and I, lovely. And I hope she's not going out with you for real, she's Johnny. She's a freak. 
She's a freak. Johnny, I hope she's, she's not. She's not a freak. She's so not. My sister Adam. And she's I bet you freak. she's not going out with you. She'll do anything I ask. You don't she's even she, know. She's not going she'll, nowhere she'll with nobody. Anything. This sounds like a guy, Beetlejuice. He's just trying to get under your skin. No. He ain't getting under the nobody's skin. Not here. Right. Don't try me, Watch buddy. your mouth, Beetlejuice. What you going to do about it? I'm going to choke slam you and your Come and do it then, you faggot ass. Come on. Come on. Let's do it right now. I'll shoot your black ass. Meet me at the pool hall where I'm yeah, first made yeah. love you to your sister. Yeah, yeah, you get your head broken, nigga. Yeah, for beat him, not the F word, please. While I'm making love to your sister, I'll choke you. Yeah, I bet my brother <laughs> choke your ass. I'll get my brother Sean to whoop your ass. Who? Sean's your brother? Yeah, that's Sean's right. his brother. You don't want my brother Sean to do it. That big, dopey, bald-headed guy you hang out with? That's right. He'll whoop your ass, boy. I'll smack him after I'm done oh, with you. Oh, he'll been on a tilt your ass, <laughs> After boy. I'm done with him, I'll make you oh, make he'll make you sister. smaller like you a midget now. Yeah. Yeah, you're a faggot. That's why you ran from your family already. I'm, I'm with your sister. That doesn't make yeah, me a faggot. Yeah, ain't no sister here, you punk ass. Yeah. Well, I think you better yeah, talk nice to Beetlejuice if you want to win his favor. Hey, Let me handle this. Yourself. Let me tell you something. I don't know why you let this guy upset you. Yeah, why are you letting this guy get to you? Yeah, keep on going. Hey, hey, listen. You're not part of his family. I'm going to be soon. No, you're not. Sure. Howard, can we get married on the show? Beetlejuice will not allow you to marry his sister. Yes, he will. He's got no choice. You ain't got nothing. You ain't doing nothing. How old is she? She's 27. She ain't getting you nothing. She's 27 years old. Yeah? Yes. Are you in love with her? Keep on pumping me up. See what I do to you. I'm in love with her. Why? See what I do to you. Is Is it okay if he's in love with your sister? Heck no. She's beautiful. Can't stop love, Juice. She, she loves me. Juice. She ain't loving nobody. She, she loves Juice, me. you ever hear the uh, story of Romeo and Juliet? Hell no. Well, I never did. Well, the family tried to keep Romeo and Juliet apart. apart. And they couldn't do it. Yep, but he ain't getting it because well, you know, he ain't. The, the right. new story's going to be uh, TP. No F word. No F word, Juice. Either. He gets upset. I don't blame him. Better watch. Well, I don't know who you this better guy watch is. your face because I'm gonna stop, come out to you. you. Better stop cursing at. I wouldn't. What I, you gonna do about it? Take it out on your sister when I. What I'm you gonna do about, about it, you little faggot? I'm gonna bend your sister over. I'll bend your mother over. How's that? Well, whatever you want to do, it's a fair trade-off. <laughs> yeah, because it's gonna be you. <laughs> Erica's a sweet piece. Yeah. You... Wait, me. <laughs> don't use the F word. I gotta bleep you off. Everyone's missing don't you. Don't say puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know who you are, Johnny T-Bone, and I don't know if you're dating uh, Beetlejuice's sister or not. All I can tell you is I'm in love with her, Howard. There's nothing this midget could do to keep me away from her. Yeah, ain't no midget here. It's a big midget, not a tall midget. I mean... I'm I'm taller than you, you faggot. I'm four foot eight, Beetlejuice. I don't care how tall you are. I'll still knock your ass out. Four foot eight, 253. I weigh 258 pounds, buddy. What are you going to do about it? How are you, Juice? Beetlejuice, I'm 56 years old. I don't care how old are you, you faggot. <laughs> All right? I don't appreciate you're what you're talking faggot. about right now. Well, I hey, don't... I, I Beetle, don't see how we're going to resolve I'll this I'll see you today. over at the house tonight. Your sister's going to... Beetlejuice, let me ask you something. I'm going to have a serve the spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, you're going to serve you like a spaghetti and meatballs so I can want. get shooting you. Hey, Bro, Beat. I'll, hey, Beat. Does this guy actually come over to your house and, ha- and your sister makes him dinner? Yeah. Heck no. Great cook, too. She's a great cook. Is he Cooks lying about all this? My sister never been there. My sister never been there. She's bald all over, too, Howard. Yeah, right. <laughs> she yeah, she never bone. been with you, so stop John, lying. Johnny T-Bone has a shaved down. Oh, watch the mouth. Hey, Beetle if you what know... What you gonna do about it? Hey, if you know Beetlejuice's house, describe the house. It's beautiful. You walk in to the left, there's a pool table. That's where I make love to his sister when I... Ah, oh, you see, he's lying. You don't have a pool table, sure do you? he does. You don't? He has a bird. He has a big bird cage. You got a bird, Beetlejuice? The other day, I was peeing on the bird. I got bombed. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm pissing on the bird. <laughs> I got a thousand-dollar bird. I don't know what you're saying, boy. Yeah, and he's good for pissing on. Oh, yeah, and I'll piss on you. I'll... All right, listen, I had enough of this. I can't take Well, it. I'll see you over at the house tonight, Beetle. Yeah, okay, you little piece of crap. All right. All right thank you, T-Bone. I love you, Beetlejuice. <laughs> this guy says he loves you. He loves himself. He loves himself. Probably not. What if he becomes your brother-in-law? He ain't got no brother-in-law. First of all, his no sister doesn't even know all Johnny T-Bone. Like that is Sean. That's it. That's Sean right. is the only brother you're ever going to have. Could That's Sean right. marry your sister? Sean's my only brother. What are you, what are you suggesting? Your Listen, <laughs> first of all, let's clear the record up. Johnny T-Bone never even met your sister, right? Nah. 
Of course How not. does he know? Maybe he's just he sneaking out. He was a guy trying to get under your skin, right? Am I right, Pete? Me? He's not a tough guy. Right. He's not a tough guy. He's not. You know him. You know this guy. I know guy. him, but he's not a tough guy. Okay. You could take him. But he, I can take him. Yeah. He ain't nothing. He's nothing. No, he ain't nothing. So what yeah. are you worried about? Yeah, who cares about him? I don't worry about nothing. All right. right. I'm not. A, I'm not afraid of him. Why do you be afraid of him for? That's yeah. what I agree. And by the way, Beetlejuice says, just for the record, his sister would never give it to Johnny T. Bone. She certainly never. never did any of the things he described. It's outrageous. Um, well, it's so crazy, huh? It couldn't be that she's making steak and eggs for him right now. Nah. Hell no. Not happening. Beetlejuice, forget about that guy. He's a jerk off. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, see? See? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We should talk about that, see? Hey, John, what's up? Hey. Hey. Who the... Howard. Hey, Howard, Howard and Beetlejuice. What? <laughs> Spit it out. What yes, is it, John? What can we do for you? I just wanted to tell you that Beetlejuice was at my club like two weeks ago throwing up all over the place <laughs> and picking up girls. Nothing wrong with picking up girls, right? Throwing up, right. What's wrong with that? Picking up with girls. What's wrong with that? Were you sick though? Were you throwing up? Me? No, Beetlejuice. Nah. The, foggy, the foggy goggles. He was there till like five in the morning. Five in the morning. Do I ever throw up? Never. Did Beetlejuice throw up at the foggy goggle? How oh, that's right. He threw up at the foggy goggle. <laughs> you didn't do that, did you, Beetlejuice? <laughs> Never. Never threw up. Uh, All right. Oh. <laughs> Spread rumors about Beetlejuice. By the way, everyone's dying to meet Beetlejuice. Go over to the Foggy Goggle in the Hamptons on July 7th. He'll Beetlejuice be back there. He's making a very rare public appearance. He will be there. He will have sex with you if you're a girl, right? Oh, I will. Right. If you want it, Beetlejuice is ready to give it to you. Beetlejuice, you were at the uh, dysfunctional family picnic. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. yeah he I was, was out up there. on the back of the stage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was out there. He was out there. Oh, I'll be out there. I'm going to sing out there. Yeah. Trust you, me. Yeah. Right. Well, he'll be over at the Foggy Goggle. And go see Beetle just b before Scary Movie comes out. Because once Scary Movie comes out, this guy... Oh, he won't even really go near me because I got bodyguards around. Right. He directed Scary Movie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Beetlejuice, uh, I got to take a break. I don't know if you want to hang in there for the news or what. No, no. I can hang in there. All right, good. And we'll be back. Um, where's Robin with the news? I checked out there. Uh, that guy who was on the phone, he's never even met Beetlejuice's sister. Just so everyone knows. There's absolutely no love affair going on there. Hey, Beat. I checked with your uh, manager. He told me that guy, he's never even met your sister. Yeah, he's a real scumbag off the street. Yeah, well... Don't let him uh, run into me. I'll take care of him. I'll let you take care of that. Good. Thank you. Where's Robin with the news, Beetle? She's right there. Well, honey, come on. What are you doing? You come hiding? On, Robin, what are you waiting for, honey? I'm going to go home. Are you calling me? Well, I mean, what, I got to make an appointment? <laughs> that was important. <laughs> that was funny, dude. All right. I bet sorry. you Beetle was back there effing you. No, 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 no. Were you having sex with Robin during the break? Oh, maybe. <laughs> That's what I figured was going on. She couldn't even get back in here. She well, could barely, I'm exhausted. She could barely walk after being with the great Beetle. She probably just thought to say, hey, what happened? All I right. don't even know what happened. That's right. I just saw in the paper today that uh, Nick's tickets are going up, Beetle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The top ticket for, you know, those great seats in the front row are going to be $16,000 per game. Get who out. can afford these tickets? 16000 I'm Yeah, thank you. 16000 Who can afford that? I know you can afford that. I could. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, most people can't afford to go to these games. Oh, I go to the games all the time. I bet you are. But uh, that's crazy. I mean, how are kids supposed to see these games, Beetle, when the tickets are so expensive? Well, the tickets are going out like... Twenty dollars? Mm. No, more than a hundred. Some places. Well, it's going up like three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's going up like five hundred. It's crazy. I don't see why you're not upset. I'm upset. 
fi- one person who can afford these tickets is Ray Romano, who just signed a new deal with CBS. Oh, yeah, that must be a friend of mine, yeah. Yeah, he is going to make $40 million over the next two years. Yeah, yeah, he's going to send it all to me. Yeah, he's sending it all to you? <laughs> is that right? That's right. They yeah. love him so much. A couple of years. Frazier and the Ray Romano show. I've never seen either one. Yeah, so Frazier's now the, the highest paid guy in television. Ray Romano is number two. Hmm. And number three, that slot is held by a bunch of people. Right, the, yeah. The cast of Friends. Right. And Drew Carey. Right. They all make $750,000 wow. an episode. Yeah. Drew Carey. All of us, it's the same day. Yeah, and remember Drew wanted to quit that show after the first couple of seasons? Yeah, yeah, he, he didn't want to be famous. They're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Thank goodness for you. Yeah. Amazing man. He owes me money. <laughs> he he owes me like, do that money. He owes me at least $5 million. <laughs> right? right? $2 million. Two million, right? He should bring all the money over to your house, like Ray Romano. Well, he should. He says he was. Did you hear about this weakest link thing? Ted Harbert, who you went to school with, right? Went to college with the guy. He's over at NBC now running things. He's the head of production or something. A bunch of different shows over there. And uh, one of them being... We were over there the other day. You and Ted? Yeah. Yeah, he uh, oversees the weakest... You know how it turns out? She won. People just breathe like Darth Vader, you know that? he cried. What are you crying about? (laughs) You hear Who's crying? He was missing on He's got tears in his eyes. Peter, are you crying? Me? No, that's fake tears. Oh, okay. Oh, he can cry at will. Cry, He's just showing you what a good actor he is. I pitch Eric here on the air. Hey, Howard, how you doing? Hey, man. Chris, I want to say hello to my homeboy, Beetlejuice. Hey, hey, what's up, Eric? What's, what's up, Beetle? Beetlejuice and I do appearances all the time. Hey, what about your girlfriend? Where's your little niece at, bro? No, not my girlfriend, my cousin. Where's your cousin at? She's coming in on Tuesday. You like his what, cousin? Where's she, where she at? She's in Florida. Why she ain't gone? She called you last night. No, she did. She just called you before, twice. No, she called me last night. She called you last night while she called you before. Yeah, she wants to see you on Tuesday. Yeah, tell her to call me on Tuesday. Hey, Howard, Beetlejuice and I do appearances together. Yeah. And you should see what he does at these appearances. He chases people around naked all the time. I've seen that. How can I dress around naked? I don't dress around naked. Yes, you do. Sounds like Beetlejuice is smitten with high pitch Eric. I was going to say, is he dating high pitch Eric's cousin? Are you dating his cousin? No, he's not doing oh, yeah, My, my cousin's going to meet him on Tuesday. You're probably going to date her? I probably will. Sure. I'll walk her up. I'll walk my I'll, cousin I'll, up. I was with her last night. Is she pretty? Oh, she, yeah. She's very pretty. She Are you going to give it to her, Beetle? Oh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> she looks like Carly Simon. Give it to her hard. Oh. Carly Simon? What? She looks like Carly Simon? Is that what you said? Yeah. Would you mind if Beetle just had a little Carl taste Simon? of that? I don't mind. You can do whatever you want. Hey, got to get a piece of that? Yeah. Hey, Beetle. <laughs> You can get a taste of Anderson, but you know why? Because you're my homeboy. Yeah, you know that. Oh, you know I get a piece of that pie there. <laughs> you know. All right, thank you, High Pitch. Uh, Howard. Yeah. CharlieDwarf.com. Okay. Hey, wait, Howard, do you, know, do you know that Beetle does a good impression of High Pitch Eric? Let me hear, B. What? Do make believe you're High Pitch Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to give it a call. Hi. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you did impressions. He does Ed Norton from The Honeymooners. No. You do? Yep. Let me hear that. Oh, for the honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> no, hey there, Ralphie boy, come on. I am yeah, bad. All right, Rob, what else is in the news? All right, there's a tough task facing a Houston clergyman today. You know, the reports I hear are that she only wanted to have three children and he wanted six. So uh, he didn't care what was going on. He didn't care. On. He must, I must have took one. What? Right. Hey, he was great, Carol O'Connor. Howard, I heard Beetlejuice does uh, 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 Archie Bunker, too. He does Archie yeah. Bunker, yeah. too? No, Archie Bunker died. You can't do him anymore? Oh. You want to do an impression of him? I can do an impression, but it's a little louder. Let's hear it. <laughs> Go, do Archie Bunker. What? I'm just about to fuck all you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Wow. Pretty good. Well, uh, ads have been pulled. The ads show two men with the caption, I'm not gay, but sometimes I have sex with men. <laughs> People just don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> no, <I'm great. laughs> if you have sex with a man, you are gay, right? Not me. Not you. I'm saying in general. <laughs> right. But what are they advertising when they say, I'm not gay, but I like to have sex with men, Beetlejuice? <laughs> Never. Only <laughs> <laughs> does women. <laughs> anyway, it's okay to have you on the radio, but it's not a... <laughs> so, Pootie Tang is a movie? Pootie Tang is a movie. You in that, Beetlejuice? 
Yeah. Oh, all right. I saw the preview. It's chain, but they call us the pool chain. Right. <laughs> and I would say stay away from the theater. But what do really? I know? Oh my goodness. This uh. is, ugh. It's you know another one of those from the Chris. Rock. I don't think they will put it on me. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Juice, you hang with Chris Rock, right? Yeah. Yeah. How? What kind of guy is he? Oh, he's a mess. Yeah. He's a mess. <laughs> is he? He's a screw up. And he that's is. coming from Beetlejuice. Yeah. He's a screw up. Yeah. Really? I heard he's dating your sister. I heard he's dating your sister. Nice to see you there, Vinny. Oh, sorry. Vinny. Is he a sloppy drunk? Oh, he's a sloppy drunk. Who, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vinny? <laughs> All right, go ahead. And here's Chris to uh, talk about how you turn a sketch into a film. <laughs> Beetlejuice, let me thank you, first of all, for the great show you did today with uh, Beetlejuice Password. And thank you. Thank you for participating in the show. And, of course... And, and don't forget my limo driver. Who's your limo driver? My man out there. Sean? Nope. Who? My, my, my little buddy. Who's that? Who's, who's your limo driver? You know Beetles doesn't fool around with names. T-Bone? T-Bone. Yeah, your buddy. Johnny T-Bone? Johnny T-Bone? Wow. Who's right. dating your sister? No, it's my driver. He's your driver, all right. Oh, there he is. Casey, who's his little... His, his name is Mike. <laughs> Mike. You know Mike. Mike. Right. All right. Uh, by the way... Don't bother Beetle with names. <laughs> Beetle Juice. That's his, that's his company. So. Go to jollydwarf.com if you want Beetle Juice information. Also, don't forget to go see Beetle Juice in a rare public appearance before his new film comes out. He'll be at Foggy Goggles in the Hamptons on July 7th, and uh, I guess he'll be summering a little bit in the Hamptons as well. You like to uh, lie up in the sun, Beetlejuice? Get sure. a tan? Get oh, a nice yeah. tan. Oh, yeah, I get a last tan. <laughs> you got a great tan. I do, I do have Be a careful, because blondes are very, you get yeah, skin you get cancer. burned easily. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I, oh, I don't stay blonde that much in the way. Right. Is, hey. the sun, is it the sun that bleached your hair? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, also, I uh, want to thank a couple of my... Nantucket Nectars and Priceline.com. I also want to thank my good friends at CBS.Sportsline.com for that great uh, $10,000 gift for Winfred's money. Ah. Go on there, play fantasy baseball for real. Don't forget my lawyer, Monahan. Right, Monahan, uh, Beetlejuice's lawyer. Yeah, he's getting to be just like Johnny Carson wow. with the lawyers. Yeah. Hey, my lawyer, that's what I do. All right. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. we got a very big show for you tomorrow. There's a lot going Marlin on. Marlon and Sean Wayans over here? Yeah. Yeah, they'll be here tomorrow. tomorrow. Somebody drop down the zone. Hey, we got Beetlejuice here now to play Password. We're going to bring him in now. Jumping morning here in this place. Hey, uh, come on in and get your stuff, man. Let that crap on your head. Look at that. That crap shit. going to hit me right now, shit. What's going on, B? Nothing, man. Nothing, nothing. What's with your uh, new look today? Ain't no new look there. Ain't no dance from nature there. What's on your head? <laughs> so it's all wet. You're being a badass today. That's what it is. So, yeah, you can be a badass. Let me see some muscle. Let me see. Badass, man. Well. So, you Beetle, you know what you're down here for today? What? You're going to play Password. <laughs> yeah, but I... What do you know about that? I don't know why. I don't want to know. Give me a prediction on how well you're gonna do. I don't know. I'll try. You'll try real hard. I don't know. I'll try. Remember you played this game last time? I played the last time, but I don't know. But I got. I don't know what's gonna be. I don't know. You think you're gonna do well? I don't know. I'll try. You'll try. I'll try. All right, Peter. I don't know. Good luck, luck. but I'll try. Hey. What's up, Gary? I'm tired. I'm Almost 10 30 last night. You know what you're doing today? Trying to, trying to get Peter Juice. What thing? Uh, some kind of game thing. Yeah? How do you think you're going to do? I think I'm going to beat him. Is that your prediction? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Why? Are you smarter than him? I remember last time I was smarter than he was that beat him. That's right. Yep. <laughs> you're going to beat him again, right? Huh? You're going to beat him again? Yeah, I'm going to beat him again. All right, I'm excited. Because uh, I see a lot of good-looking people in the room right now. Number one good-looking person, Gary the Retard. How are you, Gary? Oh, pretty good. Hey, How good to see you. Morning. Flew in all the way from Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Got, I had to change the plane to get as usual. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. I understand. I one plane to the other. I mean, two. Yeah. I got to tell you something. You know, uh, this is uh, Gary... 
who uh, always in the past when he came in, came in with a representative from the radio station uh, in Portland, Oregon. Right. But uh, now they can't even provide a nope. representative. And you've been staying with High Pitch Eric. Yes. And I heard it was horrible. Yes. What happened? What went wrong? I just don't want to stay with you no more. Oh, really bad, huh? Yes. What happened? He just makes me upset. He just tells me what to do. In fact, when I got here last night, but the, yeah, last night at 10.30, he's still trying to tell me what to do. I said, Eric, just leave me alone. I mean, you're an independent guy. You're used yeah. to living on your own. Yeah. And what would happen, Eric? I heard was like trying to boss you around yes. and tell you what to do. Right. That's right. Huh? I, in fact, I talked to somebody out in the hallway today about it. I said, if I come back again, I want you guys to come to the, to the airport and pick me up. I don't want nothing to do with them no more. Yeah, I thought it would be a good matchup. I mean, so uh, who we even didn't want knew? you to be lonely. Oh, and, but, no, he's lonely. I don't find something to do here. <laughs> you know? And by the way, I heard when it came time to sleep, high pitch uh, uh, makes a lot of noise when he sleeps. Or yeah. what, what, what was going on there? He was just... He, He's on the computer. He's on the computer all night. Yeah. Never goes to sleep. Huh? And there's no separate room where you can uh, bed down. No. Really? Because he, he's, he's, uh, his computer's in his where his uh, liberty is. Wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> you know. Where is High Pitch? Is he here now? Yeah, or he's, he's out in the green room. Well, I'm going to tell him that he's not allowed to take care of you anymore. Right. I'm going to tell him that. So right. Gary requested no more. <laughs> no Eric. more High Pitch, Eric. Nope. No more. Wow. High pitch. Evidently, uh, we can't leave you in charge of Gary the retard. Now, high pitch, in your defense, I heard you were complaining all night that he coughs all night. I, he coughs all night, smokes too much. You I smoke? Do not, not that much anymore. You just stay out of it, Eric. No, Gary, 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 hold on, hold on. No. <laughs> Sometimes he has to be told when he, when he doesn't, when he's not, when he can't cross the street, he should not cross the street without looking. <laughs> you don't know how to cross the street? I always look. <laughs> well, are you saying that you saved his life? Yeah, I saved his life every time he crosses the street. I do not. I always watch the traffic. Gary, does he, does, beside him telling you, which he's trying to look out for your safety, you know, be careful crossing the street, does he tell you to boss you around and do other things? Yeah. Like yeah. what? Then he just said, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I said, Eric, I've only watched so fast. You know? Right, right. Run? Yeah. I Gary's not run. running anywhere. <laughs> Portland, up in Portland, you cross the street by yourself. Yeah, I'm up in Oregon. Yeah. Of course. Well, New York is different than Oregon. Yeah, but see, I live, um, I live, in, I live in Oregon, Eric, and you've never been to Oregon. Well, that's, that uh, makes sense. <laughs> All right. So, um, High Pitch is probably real bossy because he, people are always bossing him around, and he's right. just looking for someone to boss around, I think. Yep. Yeah. But you don't feel very taken care of, huh? No. Well, it's like when he talks to you, he smacks you around, he pokes you. Really? Yeah. So is it fair to say that uh, you guys are not compatible? Well, I mean, I like Gary. Gary's a nice dude, kind of guy. But you don't want to be with him anymore, Gary. Right. Right. Okay. All right, high pitch, you will not watch Gary. We, we went out last night. We had a good time. Where'd you go? It was last night, but, you know, it's just, you know. I He's had enough of you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Eric took him to the police precinct to go to the bathroom at like 2 in the morning. Why would yeah. you do that? Because I had to go bad. Why would you go to a police precinct? I couldn't hold it in. We were on our way back to the hotel. Well, I mean, there's a million places to right. go to the bathroom. But nothing's open at 2 o'clock in the morning. Hmm. Yes, there is. You just have to go find some. You just have to go look. And if you're helping him out, why are you on the computer all night? Go to bed. What do you mean? Well, he when said you, 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 you stayed at your house. When he was at your house, you stayed on the computer all night. He couldn't get any sleep. He was sleeping. I had the sound off. Yeah, no, it's just hard. When, so, someone's on, when someone's typing, it's very difficult. Right. Are you still uh, going on the Internet? Are you in the chat yeah. rooms? Yeah. I still don't understand how you do that because you're not a real good speller. I know. I just, people see me stuff. I just type stuff to him, say hi and how are you doing and stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, you have never wound up in a chat room with uh, Gary, huh? I've no. been hoping that would happen. Well, I know the, uh, this guy Mike on the phone. You, you've met uh, Gary the retard in uh, the chat yes. room, right? Oh, yes. I yes. Uh, hi, Mike. <laughs> Gary. And what is uh, Gary talking type to you. I mean, he has limited uh, range when it comes to typing. Well, it's voice chat, Howard. Oh, right. it's voice chat. Yeah. Oh, you I don't know. type anything, huh, Gary? No. You just sit and talk. Good morning, Mike. <laughs> hey, Gary. Where would I find you on the internet? Hi, uh, Gary, 2022. What is that? Hi, Gary, 2000, 2000, 
22. Hi, Gary, 2022. Hot Gary. Yeah. Hot Gary. Yeah. Actually, it's 222 hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Here at WWW. Oh, hey, Howard, he's a great big fan of yours. That's the reason why he wanted to call to talk to you. All right. Well, Mike, uh, I, I see that uh, that must be a lot of fun, and you guys talk about different topics. And, uh, hey, we topics? watch webcams, Howard. Right. Well, thank you. And, he, and he's thinking about stunt mom website, too. Well, By the way, Gary, i got to tell you something. I put uh, Eric in charge of watching Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf as well, and Hank can't stand high pitch, Eric, no. either. No. Did you know that high pitch? He doesn't want to stay with you either. Well, we have a good time when we hang out. Oh, no, not Hank. Hank does no, not like it no, with you. No, in fact, no, uh, you know who's on the phone no. is uh, Bob. Bob is uh, Hank's booking agent. Hank can't take <laughs> Eric, right? Oh, Howard, it's unbelievable. I, I mean, it's really funny when Gary and Hank both can't stand to be with Eric. Right. right. Uh, Hank, Hank dreads it. I said when we do an appearance a lot of times, er, uh, high pitch will escort him, and Hank just throws a fit for five minutes over the phone. Yeah, high pitch. Do you see that even people who uh, you know are amenable to hanging with anyone who are lonely won't even hang with you. Do you see what your personality is? Does it disturb you? Well, I mean... No. All right. I think you better go back and think about that. I mean, what do I do wrong? The only person so far who's enjoyed it is... Uh KC. <laughs> Robin, I well, Gary, can you help the high pitch? Can you tell him what he does wrong? No. I ain't going to say nothing to him. You're not going to say You don't even want to talk to him. You don't even want to tell him what he does wrong. No. Nope. Uh, Howard. It's, Hank gives me the Hank begs me he, he begs me please please don't let me don't let Eric watch me and wow. I said well what is it tell me exactly what's wrong he goes I can't even put a finger on it there's so many things to list it's too numerous he is the most annoying person he won't leave me alone he's always on the computer he's well, the, the computer at least he's quiet he's busy on the computer uh, I don't know I mean we should put a hidden camera in Eric's house what is yeah. he doing to these guys uh, what you, what you, he doesn't bathe you or anything does he no but I just you know I mean, everybody wants him, they want to talk to him in the weekend. When, you, when it's time for bed, do you have to get him dressed in front of him? Yes. You do? Oh. So he saw your penis? No. No, no. I mean, no it's not that. I mean, I always sleep with all my clothes on. <laughs> I would, I too. I don't even trust him. You don't? You don't trust him? No, I don't you, trust him. You, you sleep with your clothes on in the house? Yes. I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. Uh, wow. I would. Beetlejuice, uh, hi. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, you never stay at High Eric's house. Me? Nah. Uh, but no. you like Eric, right? Me? Me? Once in a while, but I like him, buddy. He's annoying. He's he is annoying. annoying. He's annoying. <laughs> He's annoying. <laughs> All right. That's what I thought. Hey, Howard, we, uh, uh, Beetlejuice and I do parties. Charlie do off the com, too. Yeah, but, uh, you ne- but Beetlejuice would never stay at your house. No. Right, Beetle? Me? Nah. No. I don't trust him. You don't trust me. Hey, hey, hey. We don't just, we got a lot of fans in Oregon once you get on the computer from now they want to talk to you. They ain't want to talk to me, man. Yes, they do. I got other plans yes, to do. take care of that. Yes, they do. I got, you, I got my own plans. Right. You're not You're busy. Sleep. You don't need that. You don't have time for nonsense. <laughs> nah, I ain't got time for that nonsense. I, I understand. Own, I got other plans to take care of. I heard something very disturbing, Beetlejuice, and maybe you can talk to us about this. I mean, not all of us know about show business like you do, but you have yet to be paid for Scary Movie 2. You did not get paid, did you? Nah. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's going on with that? Well... Why are they not paying you? I'm getting I upset. I don't know. Are you sure you didn't get a check? Nah. Beetlejuice still hasn't been paid for Scary Movie, and he's upset. you're upset about it, right? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely upset about it. Are you going to take them to court? Oh, yeah. Oh, you are. You're preparing a lawsuit. Oh, there's going to oh, yeah. be a oh, legal. There's going to be some. And you did promote the movie and everything. Yeah. How much do they, do they owe you? They owe me like five grand. So really? Yeah. And uh, did you call them? Well, I called to the guy, but, you know. She didn't understand you. He didn't straighten it up, but he said. talk to the movie screen. You got to call him on the phone. He didn't, he didn't, uh, (laughs) you called him on the phone and and they didn't straighten it out? Nah. I called him up. I said, forget about it. I said, go fuck yourself. No, no, you can't say that. You can't can't say the F word. You can't say the F word. (laughs) You told the guy to go F himself. Yeah, that's what I told the guy. But but what did he say? Did he say he was going to send the check? Hey, I talked to him. Know what he said? What? I don't have no time. Wow. <laughs> know what I said? Oh, really? I said, take your it. time and leave. Right. Oh, really? I said, I wouldn't do this no more. That's good. <laughs> I said, take well, it by. You told them off. And listen, rightly so, you worked there. You were, uh, You'll see that, buddy. You know. What do you think is going on? 
on, Howard. That's a big company. Where is Sean, your manager? Maybe he could tell us what's going well, on. I mean, he I don't be, know. He well, has to protect you in this. Well, we tried to do it, but this guy don't want to do it. Hey, we leave. Who is this guy? He doesn't want to name know. names. I don't want to mention it. Uh, you don't want to mention it again. I don't want to mention nothing, you know. Was this man Mike Ovitz? <laughs> I don't know. You no, talk, no. To, talk to Sean. Here's Sean, your manager. Sean, you manage Beetlejuice. You do a great job. What's going yeah, but on? if he's not getting paid, how great a job is it? Well, we made about 15 calls before we got paid. Finally, we got paid on Monday. Oh, you did get oh, paid. Did paid. Did get Monday. paid. Yeah. All right. Beetlejuice, you did get paid. Yeah. Well, I don't know what's going on, but the other guy must have paid me the other one. But it did take numerous amount. We we must have called him at least 15 times before before anybody did anything. And we were going to fill out a form, and then finally, I guess, they... uh they finally got back. All right, Sean, thanks for clearing Thank that up. All right, that's Sean and Drunken Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamie, was that uh, Drunken Jamie, he's a roast. What, what did you say, Beetle? What about Junk and Jamie? Uh, he's the roast. Yeah. I'm sorry, Gary, go ahead. I just did a new video. Oh, well, I, I should have told you what happened bandit. yesterday. Where were you yesterday? Who? Who were you, Beetle? Where were you? Me? Yeah. You said something happened. Hey, I was on the island, bro. All right, okay. <laughs> I was on the beach. I was fun. You were on the beach? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the beach, making love with all the other little women? Hey, <laughs> naked, what else to do? Running around. You go <laughs> naked on the beach? Yeah, yeah. Go naked on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all the time. Once really? a week. Once a week. All right, well, listen, now it's time to play our game. Beetlejuice and Gary have been good enough to come in, and we have two other contestants. And let's meet... The contestants. The contestants. And by the way, uh, Beetlejuice and Gary are playing Password. They're our celebrities. Now, you two, uh, let me me meet the uh, people who are playing here. Uh, What is your name, sir? Uh, My name is Carl. 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 How did we find you? (laughs) Thank you. Um, I called up... um to be on the uh, on the show, oh, play okay. password. You, right. You, you guys good. put something out yesterday and said anyone wanted to play, call up and. Carl, are you, you in are. any movies or anything? I'm an actor. Yeah. You are an actor. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, you seem like a good-looking guy. You all pumped up like Marky Mark. <laughs> I own a gym. Also, that's you own a gym. I do both. All right, and you uh, you're going to be partnered up with Gary. Okay, great. And what I'll do is I'll whisper a word to uh, both contestants and see if uh, you, can't you can make make Gary make Gary a Beetlejuice save. And what is your name? Uh, My name is Anna. Anna. I would know your name if they'd write it down for me, but <laughs> nobody does. Do need their name? They expect me to be clairvoyant. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Anna, you're going to be teamed up with Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is a beautiful girl. Yeah, she is. <laughs> would you like to go out with her, yeah. Beetlejuice? Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> Anna, any traction to Beetlejuice? I adore him. You do? You adore him. Do. All, all the girls love him. And what about you? You uh, work for Gold's Gym or something? I work for Gold's Gym in Brooklyn and in Howard Beach, New York. All right. You two are trying to win, and if you win, you'll get the three-day, two-night vacation to Nantucket, <laughs> courtesy of the Juice Guys at Nantucket Nectars. Airfare provided by Priceline.com. Very nice. All right. Here we go now. What we're going to do is uh, make sure that Beetlejuice and Gary can't hear the password, and I'll whisper it to you two, okay? Let's see how this works. You Beetle, to take, headphones take off your headphones. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It makes a difference. What's that? Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. The password. Take it easy, Gary. Take it easy, Gary. <laughs> Gary, shh. You're just hearing music. Okay. The password is telephone. Who goes first? The password is telephone. All right. We're going to turn it over to uh, Anna. She's going to go first. And uh, everybody gets one turn. Anna, go ahead. Call. Beetlejuice? Imagine. Imagine, okay. All right. gonna We're going to go now to Carl. Ring. Get the... Yes. Be a uh, Gary? <laughs> Ring. <laughs> bung. What? 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 Bung. bung. Bung? No, bung. <laughs> and bunghole? No, bung. <laughs> Telephone. Telephone. Oh. A phone. Oh, bung. you got it. You got you it. You got the right word. You got it, right. You thought you said bunghole. I was trying to say bung. <laughs> All right, Gary, you have one point. Gary and Carl have one point. Okay, that was good. Oh, that's funny. All right. All right, let's see what happens. Beetlejuice, uh, put on your headphones. Try again, Beetlejuice. All right, Gary. The password is 
illegible. Illegible. What? The password is illegible. <laughs> you can't say it. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> you guys don't like that password? No. All right. All right. Put your headphones back on. I'll get a different one. Uh, that would be here for a month. Read the password. Hey. All right. <laughs> the password is sad. The password is sad. Okay, let's play our game. And this time we're going to give um, uh, Gary the retard and Carl the first option. All right. All right, let's make it all fair. And uh, Carl, go ahead. Um, uh, cry. Meh! Nah. Right. Let's go to Anna and Beetlejuice. Unhappy. Unhappy. All right. Let's go That's to Let's go to <laughs> Carl and yeah. Gary the retard. Tears. Man. 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 All right. Let's go to Anna and Beetlejuice. Come on, Juice. Come on, Juice. You're losing. Uh, unhappy. Oh no. All right. Well, you got one more round, and then we have to call it quits. Carl and Gary the retard. Happy. Ha 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 ha. That right, but close. And let's Anna give it one more shot with Beetlejuice. Let's hope you can steal. Go ahead, Anna. Come on, Juice. Mad. Stud. <laughs> Stud. 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 Uh, mad stud. Oh, well. well, okay, that didn't work out. The word was sad. Unhappy, sad. Tears, tears sad. sad. All right. Let's try a new word. The score still is Gary the Retard 1 and Beetlejuice uh, 0. All right, our next word. The password is electricity. Electricity. All right, let's go to Anna and Beetlejuice first. Anna, go ahead, try with Beetlejuice. Come on, Juice. You know the password? Give your clue. Lightning. Lightning struck. Struck. Good guess, but not the right one. Let's go to Carl and Gary the retard. Um, shock. Out. Ouch. Out. All right. Uh, not the right answer, but a good guess. Yeah, all right. Let's go to Anna and Beetlejuice, the new hot couple. <laughs> Go ahead, Anna. Light. Light bulb. Light bulb. Okay. Good guess. I love this game. <laughs> I do too. All right, let's go to Carl and Gary. All right, I'm going off the charts here. Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Franklin? Don't know that. <laughs> uh, I think I think I'm going to call an end to this yes, one. Yes. Yes. Okay. The password was electricity. Electricity. Uh, electricity. Uh, Lightning. Benjamin Franklin through the kite. Yeah. You know. All right. Let's try it. We'll try uh, one more. The score is still <laughs> one nothing, and that's a miracle. <laughs> All right, I got one here. Let's hear it. The password is television. Television. All right. All right, that's possible. All right, let's uh, start the uh, game with. I think it's Carl and Gary yes, this time. Yes, I think so. They start this time. It hardly matters. <laughs> <laughs> Carl and Gary, go ahead. Uh, radio. Music. Music. All right, good guess, but not the right one. Let's go to Anna and Beetlejuice. NBC. NBL. NBL. Good guess. Not the right one, though. Carl, go ahead with Gary. Cable. TV. Oh. Up there it is. There it is. That TV, was a good television. Uh, Gary have stolen the game. They wow. they win two nothing. They stole the game. They stole the game, Beetle. Yes, it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair. It was rigged. Beetle, last time you won, but this time you didn't. No, yeah, no, it's okay. I got it. That's all right. Let him have it. You his. know, but Gary always beats Beetlejuice yeah. every time they compete. Right. Yeah. Hey. You never know who you gave him a choice. <laughs> you gave him a choice, right, Beetle? I gave him a choice. So you threw the game? Right. Did you throw the game? Yeah, I came. I threw the game. So. You threw the game for Gary. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good man, I tell you. That's nice of you to let Gary Sweet. win. <laughs> By the way, uh, Beetle, have you been searching for uh, Chandra Levy at all? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. Yeah. Any clues? Do you know where this girl is? Well, uh, 
I can't tell you that. Really? That's very personal. Really it is. Have you been preoccupied with this case and that's why you couldn't keep your mind on the game? That's right. That's right. See? (laughs) If you find her, will you bang her? Maybe. Right. That's what I thought. Well, anyway, uh, congratulations to Gary and, of course, Carl. Carl, you're going to take that three-day, two-night vacation in Nantucket. Courtesy of the Juice Guys at Nantucket Nectars. Airfare provided by Priceline.com. Congratulations to you two guys. Uh, for uh, Anna, we must have some sort of consolation, consolation prize. prize. I think you're going to get to spend the night with High Pitch Eric. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't High Pitch? like that. <laughs> High Pitch, what about that? I would like it. Yeah. <laughs> He'll just keep you up all night staying yep. on his computer. Go out for a couple of years. On. Sorry, uh, Anna? I'll have to sleep with my clothes on. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> Gary, I bet you even slept with your shoes on at that apartment. <laughs> no, did. I didn't sleep with my shoes on. It's like a mouth. It's like Take out my shoes. Now, um, now, what was this about? Well, just before we uh, take a break for commercial, there was some other piece of business here, High Pitch Yeah, Eric. yeah uh, High Pitch Eric wants to get his head shaven, <laughs> and Gary offered to do it. Are you going to shave High Pitch Eric's head? No, I ain't going to do it. Somebody else is going to do it. You won't do it? No. I thought you might like to do it. <laughs> no. Really? I yeah, thought... you said you cut him up really good, remember? No, 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 I said. You what? said you show him how to get a good haircut? Uh, no, I was I was gonna touch his hair. Somebody no, yeah, else. No, we, no, we got the we have the clippers. We got them. You want to clip no, his hair? You want to shave his hair off? Shave his hair off. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm good. All right. Yeah. Oh my good. <laughs> well, uh, you're gonna go bald too, boy. Wreck. All of it's coming out. All right. During the commercial, maybe these guys should shave uh, the head, and then we'll take a look at it when it's done. So, Annie, you lost. I'm a little disappointed. I know. What happened? What do you think it was? I must have let Beetlejuice down. You said you wanted Beetlejuice, too. I really did. And uh, he, he just didn't come through for you? I think it might have been the other way around. You let him down? I did. All right. Well, sorry you didn't win. It's okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Well, congratulations. Right. Good. All right. I'm excited. You're the big winner. I'm the big winner. What do you think it was? How did you, you get Gary to say those words? I have no idea. You know what? I think I must be just as much of a retard as he is because we were on the same wavelength. You know, the word came out. I'm like, you know what? This is what I should say. He actually did good. He was smart. I was really happy. All right. Happy. Congratulations. Thank you. You think you got the better of the two? Um, you know, I actually was hoping to get Beetlejuice, you know, I just because I saw Beetlejuice this morning when he came in. He looked like he had that, 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 that thing in his eye that he wanted to win. But retard Gary, he impressed me. He impressed me. So what happened with the game? You didn't win. Oh, no, no, no. We didn't win. You didn't win. What happened? Huh? Stay right here. Stay right here. No, we didn't win, but I gave him a head start, so, you know. You tried your best? Well, we tried our best. We tried the best. So what you do? We try our best. So maybe you'll get him next time? Maybe next time. All right. I was probably the next time. All right, then, Beetle. We'll see you next time, then. Yeah. All right, say goodbye. Peace, goodbye. So, brother. Come on. No, wait, wait, wait. Put this on a little more. Casey, where is your another clip? Yeah, I'm going to put it in. We're going to put it in. Right? Hey, hey, hey. When you touch oh, it, yeah. when you touch it, we're going to get a small clip, all right? Yeah. So it's not. While we were in commercial, something very funny happened. Uh, High Pitch Eric was beginning to get his hair cut from Gary the Retard. And, and it was, what happened? It was just funny watching Gary and Gary listening to him. <laughs> Gary was just talking so much during the haircut, it was funny. 
Yeah, he's like the barber from uh, hell. How, how are you going to do this? <laughs> All right, Gary, those are Gary, those are clippers, and you're going to clip off all of High Pitch's hair. Go ahead. Not his eyebrows, his hair. <laughs> Doug, put the put, put the microphone in front of High Pitch. High Pitch. Hey, look at your hair. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're going to save your bald. Do you have a license for this? No. Why, I mean, why are you having him do this? You want to get it shaved off? You want to get it shaved off? Yeah. Look at that. It's all coming off. It's long hair, Eric. Boy, I wish oh, I had this on the terrible. internet. You need to go in and get your hair cut now on. Shave his beard, too. This guy. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, don't you look terrible? Oh, look at all this long hair you got. Who's your daddy? I don't need no license. I'm going to shave it out. I ain't going to go to your scalp. I'm going to use scalp. <laughs> I just didn't really go to the I told you. Today, Eric. Listen to him. He's Floyd, he's Floyd the, the retarded barber. And Eric got on his Yeah. He came to life. He came to life during the couple. Listen to him. I'm going to use scalp. You ain't going to have no hair left. I think he's going to be a barber. This is his folly. Floyd on ecstasy. You know what? He actually likes this. Maybe he could do it. Oh, look at Gary, Gary, you like doing this? You like this? No, Gary, do you like this? I like this. Howard, it's like sex talk. He's upset. He doesn't even hear you. You want to show it? Gary, hey, Gary, do you like doing this? Do you like doing this? Listen, he can't hear you. Do you like doing this? I never done this before. Do you like it? Do you like it? Huh? Do you like shaving his head? I, I don't have no headphones. I can't hear. Do you like doing it? Yeah, I like doing it. All right, that's all I want to know. Yeah. I like doing his head. He looks like an old mop. <laughs> I'm gonna need some hair, Eric. Wanna do me next, Gary? No, I don't do you next. You're too nice of a guy. He said it. He said it. I'm gonna show it. <laughs> I'm gonna show it. <laughs> you wanna show it, so you're gonna get it. <laughs> He's a great barber. This yeah. is your calling. You love this. Yeah. Maybe you should go to barber school. And he talks right? through the whole thing. I love it. He just yeah. eases you into it. It's like Walter Brandt giving you a haircut. He's, He's not doing a bad job either. No, He's it looks it good. Right. It looks no, good. Let him talk. Let him talk. I think you should leave it like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a cut from a retard. That's what it should look like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Gary, go ahead. Continue your haircut. Okay. Well, maybe he's done. No, no, let him talk. She's not done yet. I'm not done yet. You still got all the hair left. Oh, don't that look good? Oh, Eric. <laughs> you want a cut? I'm doing it. <laughs> you want a cut? Hey, look at that long hair. <laughs> he just smacked him in the head. That is so funny. You might be. You're laughing. You're making me laugh too, did it? So it looks good. You say, oh, it's too high in New York. I'm not done yet. You're not bleeding. This is like a porno movie hey, for barbers. He's talking about the weather now. He's like a real barber. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You know what? You said you don't want it left. How about you told next? me that this morning. You don't want it left. <laughs> That's what they do to go to the barber, Eric. Talk to him about sports. <laughs> you know what? Gary, talk about sports. What's happening with sports? Huh? Eric, shut up. Yeah, yeah, Eric. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eric. Howard, he's even holding up. his ear the right way. Yeah. Yeah. You're good at it. Did you go to barber school and you're not telling me? No, I don't go to barber school. Would you like to be a barber? No. Why not? Why not? Because you get tips. You're good at it. You make a good living. Oh, man, look at all this long hair. You'll probably get laid a lot if you're a barber. <laughs> but he could probably only right. do one cut. Probably all the women go ahead and chase him all over town. I'll go back. <laughs> He's idiot barber savant. Yep. <laughs> Well, I, I pitch Eric is getting completely, his head completely shaved right? by Gary the Retard, and I'm totally fascinated. Uh, bring your head down. <laughs> bring your head down, boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's going to look nice. You got a great ass. <laughs> <laughs> rub his belly. Yeah, rub his belly. I know rub his belly. You should. I hear him at the stomach. <laughs> Oh, don't that look good, Eric? Don't that look good? Hey, Gary, any chance next you could remove uh, high pitch Eric's appendix? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? No. No? No. You wouldn't want to do that? No. Yeah, you could do an that. operation. Nope. I don't want to do his appendix. Well, uh, Floyd the what retarded about barber. his tonsil? <laughs> <laughs> Let me don't take a look. Good, Eric? Hey. Let me take a look at your work. Wow, you look great, Eric. Yeah. 
You do. Oh, wait, turn the other way. <laughs> got a nice manly haircut now. Yeah, look at all that long hair. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at all that long oh, hair. Wow, wow, wow. Do you still have more to do? Yeah, no. There's a lot more to do. Hold still. Hold, 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 hold on. Eric. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, Eric. That's what they do. They go to the barber. They trim your bust. They trim your sideburns. You ain't gonna have no sideburns left in the street. Hey, you get that belly there. God damn it, look. <laughs> I feel all the hair off your chest, too, boy. Don't you look, boy. Don't you look good? Oh, it's like shaving a pet. Yep, shaving a dog's hair. <laughs> dog? Have you ever groomed a dog? Is that what it's no. like? Don't, uh, hold still. You gotta get them up. You know what? Those sideburns. You know what? <laughs> I think you got a real talk. talent. I love Gary. hearing Gary talk. Don't do that. You're my Mitch. Oh, but <laughs> oh, still. They don't Who's work. Who's doing it? You. <laughs> you must. Imagine that. You, you know what? We ought to do that. You know that hidden camera show on NBC. Yeah, right. put, yeah. Yeah. put Gary in a barber shop. Oh my God. <laughs> Huh? I'll be I'll be your client. <laughs> Eric, shut up. Yeah, right, Eric. You want to come to where you can get your hair cut? Yeah, Eric. <laughs> Eric, you ruin every bit. Yep. Even Gary knows you can't come to Oregon just to get your hair cut. Right. Gary, that would be stupid. <laughs> Gary, you should be like whistling and humming too. <laughs> yeah, you want your hair cut though? Can you whistle? Whistle. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no teeth. No teeth. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Well, uh, I think ball. you're done, aren't you, Gary? I just about hey, hey, don't rush him. Don't Sorry. Don't rush me. I'm just about done. All right. You don't go in the look in the bathroom. Oh, don't look good? Uh, oh, God, what a mess. You look like a man. You, you know what? You didn't do a bad job. Hippie. Yeah, but he, he's not trimming it up very well. He's doing good. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a crow cut. But look at the back. He needs uh, something else. How are you with long hair? <laughs> I don't like long hair. No. What about <laughs> Howard? You like Howard's hair? Can you do something for me? A little trim? I ain't gonna touch your hair. You look nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let me see. He knows. <laughs> you gotta trim all the hair around the ears. You don't want it to grow back. What? You don't want it to grow back. Trim around the ears. That's your brother. You don't want it to grow back. Oh. Come on. But well, he becomes verbose. He's a believer. <laughs> yeah, we never Howard. can get this he's, much conversation. He's though. like the photographer who says, "You look beautiful. Yep. You're great." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, Gary, give him like sweet talk. They like that when you come here. You got to get off the hill up around the neck. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Does That's it feel good, Eric? Yeah, but after this, I have to call the handle president and then side rolling. Cy Burling. <laughs> You're going to call the hair club for men? Cy Burling? No hair around the ears, boy. Look at this. No hair around the ears. you got to get it up. <laughs> the laugh is what gets me. <laughs> look, look at all this long hair. You didn't do a bad job. That is unbelievable. you got to get hair around your neck. You can't have no hair around it. Oh, don't that look good? Does it feel any better now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a section to pat on the head. I think Gary is reliving his childhood memory. I just don't know. Yeah. If you close your eyes, it really does sound like a porno movie. <laughs> That's the vibrator. Yeah. No, it's a fair compass. Oh. Oh, okay. Turning the fantasy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Well, I think you're kind of done. Good. I, I, there's a patch up front, I think. Hairbrush perfection. <laughs> Oh, so that look good now, Eric? How do you feel now? <laughs> you like a million dollars? Not yet. <laughs> That's over. <laughs> you wanted to cut, so you got to cut. You know, I want to see some hair. Oh, no, 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 no. You ain't seen no hair. <laughs> Melvin, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, this guy's, this guy's almost like those dumb, deaf, and blind people that don't do nothing all their lives and get on a piano and, 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 and sing. Idiot savant. He, he, he found his calling. He did. I tell you, it's a good haircut. He you found his see. calling. Hey, uh, can I come in with my wife and, and can he shave our heads tomorrow? Sure. And my two kids? Five wow. Five wow. Five you got a Howard. business already. Five dollars a head. A lot of people want you to give them a haircut. Do you do body hair too, uh, Gary? No. But would you do other people's hair? How about bikini wax? <laughs> bikini wax? No. Sure you would. You'd be close to the girls. You crazy? Yeah, shave what? their bird. He's specific. <laughs> he does one thing and one cut, and that's it. That's do you do so shaves good. and mustaches? Nope. Mustache trim? Do you blow dry? 
He's intent on this. I'm you blow? Yep. Bothered. <laughs> Concentrate. <laughs> Well, Gary, I think you're done, aren't you? I should be done. You should work for the Army. Look at you. You look good, You look Eric. beautiful. <laughs> you look like a cancer patient. <laughs> Gary's not done yet. He look, doesn't look leave the... Look at technique on his head. It's perfect. Oh, my God. Look at this. Gary's, like, really into it. <laughs> yeah, he keeps looking around and goes, no, 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 you're not done yet. No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> you know, really help. Here's my favorite question. Did you get the sideburns? Yeah. Oh. oh, my God. Look at what he did to the back of his neck. <laughs> and that's when he had the other thing on the clippers. He didn't have the, the, the thing on. What do you do? You scratch him up? Oh, well, yeah, it was just it the just bare clippers. It just goes of his head. Uh, let me see. Turn around. Oh, that's brutal. Turn around, Eric. That wasn't Gary's fault. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you, your hair really doesn't make a difference whether you have it or not. <laughs> Eric, mean? turn around. Yeah, because you just turn around. You're that. just disturbing. Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Which way? It doesn't matter. If Backwards. So I don't to look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what he started out with that one. Jive it. It's like a shoveling snow. Uh, well, even it up, will you? <laughs> he can. Uh, yeah, cut sure the he can. Sure he can. He can even that well, up. Should he take the blade off now and yeah. like, do the, the, take, the and just do the bottom part? No. Yeah. No, yeah, just do the bottom all the way across. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Eric, you got what you wanted. Your hair is yep. nice and... and uh, yep. Put yeah, him on camera. Put it. Put it on so Eric can see his new haircut. Yeah, you look like beautiful. Brad Pitt now. <laughs> there he is. Wow. 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 Gary, move your hand. Wow. You, you look great. Good job. Gary, now you did job. <laughs> see, I think if you wanted to cut now, you don't have to worry about going to get a haircut. Now you did job. Shows you a retard can cut hair. Not bad for a retard. Yeah. Your head looks like a Rorschach test. <laughs> I job. Not bad. Jerry Lewis. You look better, though. Not yeah. bad. You do, he looks better, right? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. You look very gay before. Now you just look ugly. Yeah, now you look a little look better. Look at the killer. I am. <laughs> there you go. Nice breast, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> she might want to start working out now. You know, he looks thinner now. <laughs> hey, Eric, nice rack. <laughs> you want me <laughs> No. All right. Oh, did you see his gut, man? Yeah. It's oh, huge. God, when he stands up, it's huge. What do you weigh now? Hey, what do you know, weigh? Hey, it's not uh, that heavy. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Three twenty. I think you're over three hundred. You don't believe two ninety nine? No, he's, he's a mess. He's a mess. <laughs> Look at that thing. All right, man. thank you, Eric, and thank you, uh, thank you, Gary, the retard. I got to do some news. Gary's pressing his belly. All right, thank you. <laughs> you know, Gary's doing a great job. He's now cleaning up his client. Yeah, he's getting all the uh, excess hair off. off. Clean my back off. No, you gonna do that yourself? <laughs> Come on, please. No. No, you're going to do that yourself. I'm not. No, you're going to do the rest ah, yourself. You, you're supposed to do it. No, I'm not. You're supposed to do it. You are. No. He wants a happy ending. No, I ain't going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, because all, bar- all barbers are supposed to clean their you know, backs off of the people. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Yeah, no, they don't. don't. Yes, they do. <laughs> no, they don't do that in Oregon. <laughs> no, they don't do that in Oregon. They pay the pain over here and then they just go you up I, there. I'll take you to a haircutting place right now and you'll see. <laughs> no. <laughs> I ain't gonna go there with you. You go by yourself. No. How are you getting to the airport then? I have to take a cab. <laughs> this is dumb and dumber. Dumber and dumber. You didn't feel like a lot better than you did. Yeah, you did a, you did a good job. Yep. <laughs> Next time I need a haircut, I'll call you. <laughs> you clear in Oregon? Yeah. I'll fly out there. Yeah, right. I will. Yeah, right. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll fly out there. <laughs> you Eric? Ain't, you ain't yeah. going to my house to get here all over everything. No, we'll do it outside in the backyard. No. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Well, you come here, I'll pay for your trip. <laughs> you have to talk to Howard about that. It fit to him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, and uh, congratulations. Gary's hands are so wet. When he shook Gary's hand, oh. Gary had to wipe his hand. I know. <laughs> Gary, are your hands all wet from shaking a hype? Hands all sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's go, disgusted go by him. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> Gary, maybe you ought to wash your hands because you touched high pitch Eric's hand. Wait. Uh, oh. oh, my God. Uh, what are you, like a 49 uh, waist? C no, cups. I'm a 46. Dude, no how way. do you find clothes that even come close to? Fitting. No way. I have a 40. Oh the belly is almost no down to his penis. <laughs> he needs, he Dude, needs to go on a strict diet. Around the navel? All Could around. you put him on a diet, diet. Gary? Well, well, Gary, it. tell him what to eat. You want to make a You diet? know what? Hey, wait a minute, Eric. You need to go on a strict diet and do something that gut. You know what? 
steal all that fat stuff. You want to make a better move with yourself? Yes. You steal up all that fat and, and start working it out. I'm a 46. You're like an 86. Hey, Howard, uh, the E-Crew is, has an over-under on um, Eric's uh, gut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's uh, 48. What should we see? Yeah, go ahead and measure it. I'm a 46. <laughs> measure it. Measure it. Measure his gut. I can't believe that. High pitch Eric and Gary spent time together, and Gary was annoyed by high pitch Eric. Gary was annoyed by high pitch. He's going to make his next catch. Let's see. Yeah, maybe uh, that. Go lower. All right, run out of tape. Uh, 54. Uh, 54. Oh, my Eric, God. Eric, you're out of control. Man. You're 54. You know, you're yeah. four people. Hey, you know what? At least some of our fat is here. How big are you, Jimmy? Uh, dude, how, 38. Can you, how can you let yourself get like that? It's yeah. disgusting. How can you, Eric? Do you need to eat that much? I mean, how much what are you, you eating? What are you eating? What are you eating? What do you eat? Who, who are you eating? Yeah, I, I eat pizza all the time for lunch. <laughs> right. Oh, Obviously. Man. Do you take it out of the box? <laughs> <laughs> Howard, I know what he does. He sits on a computer and he eats ho hos all day. It's disgusting. What is it, everyone? You look, you look horrible. Dude, actually, actually, you, you look, look you, horrible. You have a yes. little something going on. Don't you? Wouldn't you rather look decent? Like a, you know, you're on TV. You look a mess. Yes, you do. <laughs> you do. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> even even Gary. Gary has a, a, an intelligence problem. He knows to stay thin. Right. Yeah. Look at him. He's got a nice shirt on. Pick up your shirt, Gary. Show him. What did Gary say? Show him. Show the shirt. Look at that. He got a nice stomach. <laughs> oh my oh. God. Not that like he is. That belly's never seen sun in days. I'm skinny than you, Eric. Not that bad as you. Well, you can't. You're you getting a belly too. Not that much like you. That's the guy for it. Yeah. You just hanging over. You just hanging over past you. Over you. What is it hanging over there? Yes. You keep the mic away. You need to work it out. <laughs> get rid of it. Oh, put this on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> what? Get that out of there. You, you, you look like an old fat cow. <laughs> <laughs> look at you, Gary. What? Oh, hey, come I'm, back, I'm Eric. Kind of shape than you. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. You fake. No, you need to use that gut. Uh, I see you on TV all the time. <laughs> I even hate to look at you so fat. Hey, Gary. I'm not fat. I don't look good health. Gary, you should give him some lipo. You <laughs> gave my haircut. I'm, I'm in good health. Yeah, you do lipo? Oh, does lipo really hurt? Yeah. You really? Yeah. yeah. You, you would. Dude, you would just gain it back again because you just keep yeah. eating ho-hos. What if I want to get lipo? Nah, you can't, you're too fat for You're lipo. too fat. It's not going to make a difference. I would get lipo for you. Lipo's for guys like have a, a couple of pounds, yeah. like, like a couple of loose skin or something. <laughs> Um, you got another person in there. Yeah, you got to lose weight. He's like a shark that eats someone. You got to lose a hundred pounds and then you get lipo. Yep. If you eat the kids' arms, hundred pounds is going to be hard. Well, well it, it, you know, it, five it, it, would it, be it, an improvement. You know, <laughs> no, I think it's, it's time for the sonogram. I know there's hey, a baby. Really? Howard, I think it's time hey, for an intervention. Hey, Gary, Gary, yes, baby. Gary. You know what? It's oh. you know, that chunky food when he goes to store. You sit just by this low fat stuff and stick it in the microwave. It doesn't have a lot of fat in it. That's what you do. <laughs> Can he run a mile, you think? You yeah. Think could run a mile? Yeah, he'll collapse. Wait, I don't think he could. Oh, he could run a mile? I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think he could. He could run down the hallway. What's a, what's a mile? We should How have, many days we should are you going to get? We should do a fear factor between Gary and, uh, and Hyper Hyper Derek? Derek, Yeah. <laughs> what's a mile? Like outside? Do you know what a mile is? Is it from what? Is it from? It's 20 city blocks. Yeah. That's it. Every day. Dude, come I'm here to 37th can, Street. I can run a mile. You, you couldn't run to the bathroom right now. Right. I can run. Stop pass it out. If I go outside, I mean, <laughs> I can run a mile right for now. All right, I got to end this. Gary, thanks for coming in. Yep. It's great seeing you. And uh, high pitch, great seeing you. Thank you. Somebody drop down the zone. I don't want to be next to him either. Yeah. B, what's wrong? Hey, hey, don't I don't even like being in the same B, room. Go, go stand next to him. I want to, I want to talk to you guys. I don't even like being in the same country with him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like being on the same planet with him. I want to stand on an earth with you. My take on the Beetlejuice and Hank feud to me, it was Ollie Frazier 3, the thriller in Manila. Uh, what can I say? It was Balboa Creed. It was, um, you know, uh, 
Clay Aiken, Ruben Stutter. It was all the great white black matchups ever. Hey Beetle, you scared? I want to. I want to see you guys together. Get up, buddy. No, 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 no. I'm not standing. Stand up at least. I'm not standing. Okay, so hey, come over here. I don't stand by. No, I'm not gonna stand by. I don't stand. I don't. I don't stand by. The angry Mexico. The angry Mexico. He called you a midget. My take on the Beetlejuice Hag fight is that if if it actually went down, it would be the greatest bout of all time. I mean. It's two guys that are only four feet tall trying to trying to brawl. That would be awesome. How's it going, Beetlejuice? Somebody must have came for Burger King with that little hat. <laughs> Fuck it, don't eat Burger King. I eat boss. <laughs> oh, boss. Boss. Well, what next? Thanks. What's in your bottle? Vodka. Because <laughs> <laughs> are you really mad at each other? Are you really mad at him? Live in a dumpster. Me? <laughs> yeah, you, I'll put you in the dust and leave you there. The Beatles just hang feud never made any sense to me. It would seem like they would get along well, and I don't know why they didn't. I don't think either of them understood enough that the other one was out to sit, you know, take any of the thunder away. They were certainly very different little people, and uh, there was plenty of room on them for our show, for both of them. Why are you mad at, uh, at Hank? Hank? Yeah. I don't like jerks like him. I, but he seems like he wants to be nice to you, but you don't really like him. I don't like, I don't like drunks. Oh. Oh, tough shit. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 sure. You probably get drunk on one beer. Yeah, I think you like three get, or four. You probably just get drunk off the smell of the beer. Yeah. Well, at least I can handle it, but I don't know about you. Look, I was probably drinking before you were even fucking born. Yeah, I was drinking more than before you were even kicked out of born. Yeah, right. Because yeah, okay. what would you make up? Make up. Shake his hand. No, 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 no. Uh, I wouldn't make up with that nut. Oh, uh, come on. Why not? We're all a bunch of nuts here. Yeah. <laughs> well, Damn right. If we was all nuts, we'd be all jumping out the goddamn window instead of out of him. Yeah, go shake his hand. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, jump off the out of the window. I don't give a fucking rat's ass. Probably the fa my favorite video footage I've ever seen is of Hank the Dwarf and Beetlejuice fighting because they just, Beetle can't comprehend anything Hank's saying. Hank's putting him down, and just those two are our gold together. I'll knock Hank out. How's oh. that? I'll crack his fucking skull. Beetle and Hank, the feud was classic. Uh, Beat didn't like Hank. Hank didn't like Beat. They wanted to beat each other up. Beetle, you want to say goodbye to Hank? See you later. Richard Bank. Yeah, see you later. I hope I never see you again. Yeah, never see your blue ass again. Yeah, I don't want to see your blue ass again. Oh, fuck yourself. Yeah. Hold on, man. Your dick ain't big enough to fuck yourself. I don't, I ain't no midget around here. I'll fucking slap you. Well, I'm not a midget. When, when they always fought Hank and Beetlejuice, the funniest shit I ever saw in my life. And I, was, I almost got in the middle of that fight, too. I'll slap your ass silly, boy. Yeah. Right, they'll talk. You're fucking midget, look at you. Fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking scumbag. The fucking goddamn stupid piece of human trash. Uh, uh, you guys can't, you guys can't, can't fight. No, no fighting, guys. No fighting, guys. You want to try to beat your sister? I'll slap your ass, boy. No fighting, beat. Just I'm not a boy. I'll slap the heck out of you. Boy. You're, you're the boy. Well, I'm not too <laughs> bad, little bitch. It looked like Hank totally pushed out. Like, Beetle just came at him, and Hank kind of backed down quick. Your relatives used to work for mine. Oh, oh you, 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 you do not work for shit, you little ass. Yeah, go back and pick cotton. Go back yeah, down to the field. Go pick cotton, motherfucker. I think Beetlejuice and Hank were fighting because there was a little bit of jealousy on both their parts. I think, you know, Hank might have been a little bit jealous of Beatles' success and popularity on the show, and vice versa. I think that, you know, listen, Hank was a, Hank's a legendary character on the show, and Beetlejuice, I think, you know, sometimes you got to go after the big dog. Hank was around first, so Beetlejuice knew he had to go after the big dog. Well, like good riddance. Yeah, good riddance, but written yourself. Oh. You do that to me, I'll fucking slap your ass, boy. Right. Ain't you so hard you go flying over there? Where, over there? No, you gonna be going over there. Under that <laughs> no, over there? Going under that fucking chair over there. Over there? <laughs> yeah, I'll toss your ass right over there. I know. Toss your yeah. ass. Oh, oh boy. What you saying, Bobby? <laughs> say to my face, you faggot. <laughs> say to my face, you dick, you talk. Uh, uh, say to my face, you dick, you talk. You want it, you want it, man. Fucking hit you, boy. You all know me, boy. 
No, you're the boy. You're the boy. I'll fucking kick it out, boy. I'll make I'll make your ass small enough already. Oh, Erica. Look, the only ass you ever get is when you're in jail. Oh, yeah, the only pussy you get is I've been in jail. I've been in jail. What are you going to do? All right. What are you going to do? I've been in jail, you faggot ass. So have I. I've been in prison, motherfucker. I'll kill your little ass. But I doubt it. Yeah, you doubt it. Yeah, you know I will. You ugly bastard. Well, I'm going to shut your little ass. Goddamn piece of human What's swine. What's going to do? I'll slap your little ass. You know. I think they were both vying for the top spot, you know, in Howard's eyes and the eyes of the fans. Hank, Hank suck, dude. On the back, <laughs> fuck Hank. Ultimately, B just won the fight, though, because he's still alive. Somebody drop down the zone. What's the matter, Hank? What is he doing over there? He's, vom it. he's vomiting. Hey, no, uh, I'm, not, I'm not vomiting. No. <laughs> Hank, we... Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. All right. Hank was here earlier because uh, he was uh, one of the alternates in case... Uh, in case we didn't have the panel for uh, Politically Incorrect? That's right. And he got into a fight with Beetlejuice out in the hall. Our cameras caught it. It was very nasty. You resorted to the N-word. So? <laughs> well, I think that that's... Well, I mean, if we, you have a beef that, with a guy, no, what's that No disrespect to Robin, though. Oh. oh, all right, then it's okay, I guess. Yes, it is. <laughs> no disrespect well, to Robin. Well, person. Yeah. <laughs> well, here... But Beetlejuice certainly did. Here is what I don't happened. Care. <laughs> here is what happened out in the holes. Let's listen, and you decide. <laughs> see you later, Midget Man. Yeah, see you later. I would never see you again. What did he say? What did he say? See you later, Midget, midget man? man. That's what Real Joe said. Yeah. Yeah, and why did he say, call you that? Because you guys were friends. Oh, they've never been friends. No. no. All right. You He's a phony. Out of clear blue, he just said that. Yeah. Was that the first thing he said to you? Yes, or? it was. Oh. All right, let me hear it. Yeah, never see no blue ass. Yeah, I don't want to see your blue ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, man. You're big enough to f yourself. She said you're I don't, I ain't no bitch around here. He said, I'm f well, I'm not a bitch. I'm f glass soap, boy. Yeah. Right, it's all talk. Look at you. F you. F you, you f scumbag. Yeah. Goddamn stupid piece of human oh, crap. Uh, you guys can't, you guys can't, can't fight. No fighting, guys. No fighting, guys. You want to try to make a I'll spot your ass, boy. No fighting, baby. Just I'm not a boy. I'll spot the heck out of you. You're the boy. Well, I'm not your father, little bitch. Yeah. Your relatives used to work for mine. Oh, oh you see that? You see the fucking s*** little ass. Yeah, go back and pick cotton. Go back down to the field. Go back and pick cotton. You say, f***. good riddance. Yeah, good riddance. Go rip me yourself. Oh, you do that to me, I'll f*** your ass, boy. Right. Ain't hey, you saw her, you go flying over there. Where, over there? No, you gonna be going over there. Under that f***ing tail over there. Under that f***ing tail over there. Yeah, torture your ass right over there. Yeah. Torture your ass. Oh, boy. What you say, baby? <laughs> say you my baby, faggot. Say you my baby, you think you talk. Uh, uh, say you my face, David, that you talk. You want it, you want it. F*** boy. You don't know me, boy. No, you're the boy. You're the boy. I'll f*** you down, boy. I'll, 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 make, I'll make your ass small enough already. Oh. Erica. Look, the only ass you ever get is when you're in jail. Oh. The only ass you ever get is when you're in jail. I've been in jail. What are you going to do? All right. What are you going to do? I've been in jail, you faggot ass. So have I. I've been in prison, motherfucker. I'll kill you, little ass. I doubt it. Yeah, you doubt it. Yeah, you know I will. You ugly bastard. Slap the little ass. Goddamn piece of human swine. What you gonna do? I'll slap your little ass. Come on. 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 <laughs> well, this is going to make I all the nothing, news. I have nothing against you. So. This is going to make all the newspaper gossip columns. Good. <laughs> Two of the nation's biggest stars at each other's throat. Oh my God! A nasty fuck. Two, Hank, two yeah. dwarfs of opposite colors. Shouldn't midgets uh, stick together? No. And I'm not. We're not midgets. Why did you say I love midgets on your shirt? Oh, that's because Doug gave it to me. All right. Blame him. Let's bring in Beetlejuice <laughs> and find out what happened. He's now you here. two can stay apart. And then we'll do right? the news. Yeah. Oh, I'm keeping them apart. Oh, sure. Exclusive. I don't really think they were going to hit each other. I think they no. talk there. No. 
Here comes Beetle right now. Why is he yelling at you? What did you do wrong? No, no, I just... Oh, Gary, I said, I said uh, hey, man, how you doing? He goes, do I look like I'm okay? He's had a tough day here. He had a tough day with uh, tough. Hank. Hank has upset him very much. I believe Beetlejuice would kill Hank in a fight. Yeah, but in intelligence, I would kill him. No, it don't matter when it comes to fists. Yeah, when you're dead, you're dead. Nah, he was not going to kill me. How are you, Beetlejuice? Good to see you. Oh, I'm all right. Yeah. What happened? It's I not good to see you, though. I thought you guys were friends. I thought you were made up. Do I look like I'm friend of you? No. Do I look like I'm friend of you? Do I look like I'm friend of you? I don't want to be friend of you, dude. You think you're so smart? You think you're tough? You ain't that tough, boy. No, I don't I, think so. I got arthritis. Yeah, you better. You even know I'm knocking out of you. Beetle, I think you would beat him up in a fight. I think you would win. Me? I'd knock him out in a hour. I, I believe right? so. I believe so. But what is the bad thing? You know how many minutes I've ridden in an hour? <laughs> how many? I'm asking him, not. <laughs> well, let's see if you know. <laughs> I know, but I'm not going to say unless he answers first. Tell him, Beetle. What? How many what are you talking about? How many minutes are in an hour? Tell him. Hours? I'm taking like about 150 hours, boy. Right. What do you got? You ain't got nothing. How many minutes are in an hour, you dumb? I can run like 180 hours. Now, yeah, what, do what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? You already... Uh, you Beetle, know, Beetle, if, 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 Beetle, Beetle, you were going to say boy. 60, right? I weigh 180 pounds. All right. Listen, Beetle, what do you got? What do you got? Hey, Beetle, what happened? What do you got? What what happened? What do you got? Why do you two guys... What do you got? Why do you two guys hate each other so much? Beetle, he ain't got nothing. Howard. Beetle, he ain't got nothing. I don't know. He's, he's jealous. He ain't got nothing. Are you what jealous? Am why am I jealous Because he is in the movies. Because yeah. he so is jealous? jealous? You're not in the movies like he is. Yes, I am. Are you jealous of Beetlejuice? Yeah. No. Does he get more of your thunder? Do you think he's uh, usurping your popularity? No. Who is more popular? Hank? I am. You are? I know that from fact. Yeah. I don't think two so. Movies. Two movies. Two? Six. You're in six? And don't forget Son of the Beach, two commercials, and uh, talk soon. He was in oh, Son of the six. Beach. He was in Son of the Beach. <laughs> no, I probably, he's probably a son of a bitch. Oh, uh, I ain't no bitch. <laughs> right. What do you yeah. say? If you call me a bitch, you want to find out what a bitch is? Let me see me slap yeah, you like a mother. bitch? Hey, Beetle, you were in jail. I mean, you did hard time. I did a hard time. You should have stood there. And, and, and you were tough. I'm a greasy man, you know? I know it. Well, I don't know what happened. Uh, I heard I that... I thought they had ended this one. I thought you guys were friends. We did, actually. I don't care about that. who he is. I don't care. I don't care yeah, who you are either. You don't, you don't mean anything to me. You don't even know me, boy. You don't, you don't mean anything to me. You don't, know, boy, you don't boy. know me, kid. You don't know me well. You don't what know me that well. Well, if you got something to say, say it in my face right now, you punk. You can't say that. Sorry about it. Can't say that. He's a midget. Look at him. Look at him. You're a midget. <laughs> You're a midget. You're Who a... is tall? I'm, I'm the tallest. Look at me. I weigh like 180 pounds. What do you got, boy? If you weigh 180 pounds, you. I tell you, I'm murdering you, boy. Well, why are you calling each other midgets? So that isn't nice. Why are you insulting each other for yourself? No, he's Both like, you he, he's just ready to talk to me. You know, if you Robin, talk to me, I'm going to get you. This guy's an airhead. What? Well, you talk, he ain't talking to me, man. Yeah, he, he has uh, a vacuum. You don't know about it. You don't know about it. It's it. You don't know what it's all there is. Why huh? what? Yeah. I don't know what it's all there is. Hey, can you name the capital of New York? Yeah, what state is? New York. Well, how's right. that? Yeah, all right, all right. I already rested my case. But yeah, Beetle, like, Hank, me. what difference does it make to you if Beetle can answer those questions or not? He can't. He can't yeah. handle two. That's why. Yeah. And hey, who said that? <laughs> the country knows that. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Arrest my case. Who insulted who first? Why are you salting him? I think, I think what happened was... Who, 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 who <laughs> salted me? Who Why are you salting him? Hey, Bill, who said the Gettysburg address? <laughs> you don't even salt... Don't even salt him. Who right? said... Who you salted said me in the hallway? Who wrote the Gettysburg address? I don't wear dresses. <laughs> right. I'm, a, I'm a young guy. I don't wear dresses. I'm a man over there. Who was the first president of the United States? Ha! Huh, you don't even know it. That's because you talk. This is part of the United States, bro. What? No. That no, was the first really state. What is. I know what was the what first state to be indicted into the country? What? Indicted. Oh, down in the country. You don't even know what country you in, buddy. Yeah. Do you know what country you're in? I know what country I'm in. I'm in Jersey, brother. 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't know that Jersey was a country. Jersey's in this New Jersey, New York is different, buddy. Yeah, I just yeah. got some. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that's what you are. He's right. What? You know what it what is? Got? There's New York and New Jersey. I know what it is. I know the state. He's in the state of confusion. I heard what happened was that Beetlejuice. Tell me if this is true. Who's a moron? No, no, no. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Did, what happened when you saw him? You threw a cake on Hank at a hotel room. Yeah, That's right. You did. I, 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 I stopped him. Like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you had some of your cronies with you. Or else the, I you, stopped him right in the than, face. You're lucky you didn't get your ass kicked. <laughs> you can't. You can't beat me, dude. I beat you on one end. I still knock you out. Yeah, right, right. Like, yeah, you're, well, you're, I'll tell you slam the door. I'll tell you, you ran inside about your own house. I'm about to right. ran you, boy. I gotta Why tell you, you are stupider than Drek. I got to tell you something. Yeah, who we'll slammed the thing in your face? I got to tell you guys something. My phones are lit up with people who want to see the two of you fight on pay-per-view. Oh, my goodness. Wow. On pay-per-view. I'm not going to do it. I got... Are scared. you afraid to fight pay-per-views? He's scared. He's scared. Yes, I am. You are afraid. He's scared. Physically, yes, I can't. He's scared. You can't do it? He's scared. You're afraid of Beetlejuice? He's no, afraid, afraid of me. He's afraid of me. But when did the cake incident occur? Would somebody He's afraid tell me of me. That? I forgot what, uh, what, I forgot what it was. Doug will probably know about that one. You know, Doug ain't got nothing to know with that. Hey, how that's really Frank. I think I know how this whole thing started. How? I think a long time ago, I think uh, Hank um, insulted Beetlejuice's mother. Is that is that right? Is that what no, happened? No, I never insulted his I mother. Think that's, that's no, I have you never insulted his mother. You shot my mother. I did you not say insult something about my mother. I'm gonna assault your ass a little bit. Shut I'm gonna show you something you never had in your whole life, boy. Well, don't you call me boy. I'm the one that's going to call you boy, you cunt. Hey, yeah. I'm a real man. I'm not a boy. I'm You're a real, real man. man. I'm a red man, all right? Yeah, I do better than what you guys can do. You. you might be a woman. <laughs> I'm not a woman. I'm a man. Yeah, I think you are a woman. I'm a real man. What well, you got? But I think Hank's jealous because Beetlejuice yeah. was on the panel today, yeah. and he doesn't think that Beetlejuice deserves it because he's smarter. He was good on the panel. I heard it. He was... An idiot. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. At least I'm smarter. Yeah. yeah. What's your IQ? I think when the last you, time you, you took know, an IQ you test, spell IQ. You know, the last time you took an IQ test, you were so dumb that you owed points. I know my own parts. <laughs> My father's father 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 father. points. Yeah. All right, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, only to give her a million bucks. Yeah. All right, hold on. Hold on. Don't say that word. Uh, All right, listen. Why well, didn't say it? Either. I know, I know. You guys, you know. It's unbelievable that you can't get along. I'm so well, sorry. Well, there's a lot of jealousy here. I can see it. Yeah, Steven, but I got, I got along with Bridget the big jealous. Okay, Steven, you're on the air. Yeah, I, I think you got a good double matchup here. You got uh, Hank versus uh, Beetlejuice, and then a follow-up uh, starting fight of AJ versus John. Yeah, I tell you, it would be very good. Getting quite either close. That or you want to make it even more interesting? Yeah. Let them choose a side. They either do a tag team or one. you get the little guys on top of their shoulders. Yeah, maybe like a chicken fight. Yeah, Jack, you're on the air. No, not that. Hey, Howard, you got to put that hallway fight, man. you got to put that up on your website tonight. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, he's no, like I, I agree with you. He's like A.J. Beetle, man, fight the drug. <laughs> it's All like right, thank you. What the hell does A.J. have to do with it? All right, anyway, uh, listen, Hank and Beetle... Listen, let's cool down. Let's um, live and let live. Let's live and let live. You guys have both have big careers going. You're much too important. To be fighting. I think Hank resents being an understudy to Beetlejuice, but Beetlejuice is. On I am not an understudy. I'm on top of him. Beetlejuice. <laughs> I, is, I don't I, think I, so. Let me rephrase that. Beetlejuice is becoming. So. Beetlejuice is becoming one of the biggest stars in this country. He's it won't an last. You don't think it'll last? No. Really? Yeah. You want to see about it? Yeah. Yeah. In about five years from now. <laughs> I can do more than five years, buddy. Yeah. I do more than pots bubbling for money. I don't have to pay. I, I, didn't say, I didn't say right now, in five years. Five years? I can make more than five years. I can well, make like 20 years. Well, I, can I believe Beetlejuice has staying power. I do. I don't think so. He's got legs. He's got legs. <laughs> I got legs. I got heavy legs. Well, right. <laughs> so is ZZ Top. All you, right. you know, Howard, it's funny. Uh, Beetlejuice's limo driver just, yes. just left me a voicemail, and he said that no, no matter where he goes, if somebody brings up Hank's name, he just explodes. Really? It just makes him crazy. And tell him to go to hell. And I, I'd rather say stronger language. I don't think so, pal. I don't think he yeah. can handle it. Ha uh, Hank, do you have a limo like Beetlejuice does? I don't think so. Not today, no. No, no but it's not. No, no, Hank. It's not like I've never been in a limo before. 
<laughs> the Beetle has his own limo. Beetle has I, people. He probably stole it. <laughs> no, I don't steal. Yeah, you do. Well, that's my family, but you know, I get laid any time in the car. I don't know about you, buddy. I don't think you yeah, can handle it. Yeah, when you get laid, you get laid by laying down on the. Hey, back. I got women's in the car. How many cars you got? I got 150 women's in the car. How's that, buddy? Right. Look, you can't yeah. even count to one. I don't have to count to one. I get laid, uh, brother. I, I don't have to count to one. You are. You are I get laid in all the way, brother. Yeah. Hank's limo is a Greyhound bus. Yeah. It's a Greyhound yeah, bus. With, with Gary's mom. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh... That's it. He says he gets laid. He doesn't have to count. There you go. Right, let me give That's, a plug. Well, he doesn't have to count because he can't. <laughs> I don't have to. Yeah, I know. You don't. I count more than he would never have. Well, let me give a plug to the guys. Uh, Peter first of just all... told me he's written a book. Ooh, I, Peter, did. I didn't even know, I know how to write. Peter, how's the book going, by the way? My book is yeah. going pretty good. Yeah. How many pages you got? One uh, paragraph? What's, <laughs> Peter, what's the book called? What, what a book calls? Yeah. Sapinated. Excuse me? Shopinated. How do you spell it? I spell it. L E P. Oh, easy. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry about that. What does it mean? What does huh? What does Shopinated mean? Don't even that disturb me. That's, that's what, what it means. What does it mean? It just means don't even disturb me. It's that's what I'm It means I'm stupid. <laughs> that means don't even disturb. Yeah. All right, buddy? Yeah. So what is hey, the... What is juice. How do you spell the word? Oh. Hey, Beetlejuice, when is the book coming out? <laughs> coming out Wednesday. W what, uh, what, Wednesday? Yeah, what days does that fall between? Uh, honey, <laughs> what? The what 25th and 23rd, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 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 And so, Beetle, the book is about uh, what? Your life? That's right. Yeah. That's where it is. I didn't know you even had one. And you no, give advice you to my the life, book. boy, so you don't even know my life, boy. Do you give advice to other little people? Yeah, a lot of little people. Yeah, don't listen to Beetlejuice. Nah. <laughs> How do you know you wasn't there, boy? Yeah. You've ever been doing a little person convention? A little yeah. what? You've know, never been there. So, yeah, no, that's why I'm at the after Billy Body and I have a picture taken with him. Yeah? Right. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. No, man. Hey, you don't know a picture, really. I don't think do so. Yeah, Doug actually has a copy of it. Hey, you wrote a yeah, you wrote a, right. You wrote a leaflet, didn't you? Tell him about it. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> I yeah, don't I think so. <laughs> yeah, but you don't think at all. All right. I don't think so. Beetle, yeah. Hank, you guys are both big stars in your own right. You guys got it all going on. I don't on. know why. You're like Betty Davis and Joan Jeez. Crawford. Mike Beetle's limo driver is on uh, the yeah, phone. But... Mike, you drive Beetle? Yeah, all the time. Yep. Yeah, sex with him. Tell him, bro. Who's the youngest brother in here? You or me? What's well, that? Well, and Beetle well, has that made a lot of sense. And Beetle has his own limo? <laughs> Beetle has his own limo. Yeah, know. right. Where, where did he steal it from? No, thanks, man. I'm Shut up. Right I don't want to talk to you. You're Beetle a moron. Time's bigger than you, man. Yeah, right. Everywhere, forget about it. It's not even cool. Yeah. You're a moron. You're an idiot. You're a jackass. You suck. All right. Is the limo scaled Why down? Why don't you go to church and have sex with the Pope? Is the is the limo scaled down to size? Yes. <laughs> Big oh. size. All right. Good for you. Limo's entourage. Yes. Beatles entourage. What, are you kidding me? Right. Beatles entourage, yeah. A bunch of homos. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of homes, no, yeah, you yeah, yeah. You, you don't, oh, yeah, that's you, you, don't, you, 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 you don't count. Um, all right. Yo, brother, right. what did you tell him what I did to ask that in the limo? What did he do in the limo last night? He had sex with his uh, driver. He had driver talk. And, and it was a guy. What did Beetle do in the limo last night? Well, last night we didn't go out, but we were in uh, Atlantic City the whole night, uh, Saturday night. Friday night was New York. It's nonstop. Beetle gets whatever he wants. And Beetle just parties with all the girls? No, Let Beetle, Beetle. Any club we go to is car blanche. Anything really? we want. Anything. It's nonstop. You can't say that, Hank. No. Yes, I can. Hank can't, Hank can't even tie his shoes, man. I wouldn't. Uh, wanna... No, I wouldn't. Do this. I wouldn't you know what? I wouldn't do this. All right, listen, Look, Mike, thank you, you very you, much. You stupid piece of human trash. I'll see you guys. You, 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 you don't even have the... Beetle's strong. Beetle is Beetle an is idiotic strong. jerk. 
with the brains of a retarded Koran. I'll see you guys later. Thank right? you, Mike. Why don't you go to church yeah, and have sex with the Pope? All right, Beetle. Uh, anyway, I got to take a break. I'm gonna let you guys go because it's crazy. Let me let me plug Beetlejuice first. Jollydwarf.com. Beetlejuice is a movie. Who Bubble is Boy. This time. And the book will be coming out on Wednesday. Yeah, Boy. it's called Selling Topic UB. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Selling Topic UB. That's right. Okay, that's the name of the book. Dash a doobie. <laughs> <laughs> what is Selling Topic UB? Again. It's a shopping movie. Okay. And Hank is at, at uh, HankTheDwarf.com. I'll go out to the Hamptons tonight. <laughs> See you Hank tonight. Oh, you're going to go there? I don't think the girls say ain't going to watch you. I don't yeah, think so. Well, I, I mean, I told me you were going, so that's why I know that I got to be there. Uh, I don't have to go. I already know. I can get anything I want there, buddy. Yeah, be it shippity dippity. <laughs> See yeah, Hank right. tonight at Club Smoa. In East Hampton, New York, from midnight to 3. Don't back your truck up over any people. Check out Hank's website at hankthedwarf.com and Beetlejuice at jollydwarf.com. And, how and if you can't erase uh, Beetlejuice, what? <laughs> if you can't erase Beetlejuice's uh, website. Hello. And don't yeah, forget to stop and do it. Yeah, what, what, what's it got, like five, right. uh, five hits on it? <laughs> All right. I got like 20 hits on it. All right. So. All right. Hey, B, you're a real good guy. We should go out for some hopping on us later. Yeah, it's called a popper. Uh, yeah, poppy uh, Yeah, right, <laughs> sis. Right, bitch. Yeah, me and you and Snoopy down there. Snoopy dude. All right, anyway. Oh, yeah, kid. Yeah, let's kill all the black dwarfs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you know all the black dwarfs are going to run that's why. She, she is. She's a real nice one. She's a real chap. Hey, Beetle, Beetlejuice, we can't kill him. We, we don't need him. Beetle, any chance of Sabi Doobie made it into a movie? <laughs> he can't. He can't even see it. No, seriously, will Sabi Doobie be made into a movie? He could be. He could be not. He could be. Yeah. It's a trilogy. It's Shoppy Duty and then Jimmy Nanny and Dami Duty is a big one. Hey, it's a down doodle. Hey, 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 Beetlejuice. When you do a movie, what does it take like you, like, uh, 500, it takes me like 30 five, seconds. 500 takes to do a line? A line? It takes me to do 150 lines in one time. about Coke. All right, you guys, you guys are I both, do that. you guys are both great stars in your own right. I don't see why you can't get along. I wish you could get along, but I can see you can't. I got I it. I can't do it. You can't do it, so it forget. makes me angry. Well, stay away from each other. That's the best thing, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, the Beetle, thank you. I'm serious. Hey, B, tell everybody where Chandra's at. Chandra's on the lake, though. Wait, the what, lake. What's the name of the lake? No, she, lake Sa Dobbinsa. Chandra's up my ass. ass. Lake Dobbinsa? Yeah. Thought so. All right, Fads, go get her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she loves me while I'm at the bar. She loves it. Chandra loves it? Yeah. Well, she doesn't love you. She I'm a ass. How do you know? Oh, well, nobody don't want it. They call you stink boy. A pizza steak, they let the word from you. How's that? Hey, if Cabby's listening, start digging up Lake Subida. Subi Dobbit. Oh, my God. It kills the It kills the It kills the flash. Yeah, they might find the real Beal puke. Yeah, that puke over somebody that just throw up. All right, why don't we take a break? This is crazy. You? You, guys, <laughs> you guys are wild. Wild. I love it, though. Yeah, it's real sloppy to me now. Yeah, I look forward to reading your book, Beetle. Suba Do, is it? Every name? word. Yeah, too bad Every he word. doesn't know how to write it. <laughs> oh, stop that. This guy, this guy, this guy's a big star. I know how to write things. I think they write at the same time. You could even spell red. I sure Let me see if you can spell red. Let me see if you can spell it. I read it. I don't see you spell it. That was the wrong one. You gotta spell A E R. Spell that, buddy. All right. Oh, you I really hope you come out. All right. Why don't we take a break, Robin, and we'll do a little news for everybody. And, and I can't spell psycho. <laughs> All right. We're gonna be psycho back right after this. Y C H. Somebody drop down the zone. I'm very excited about today's Bill Maher appearance. Bill Maher is the host of Politically Incorrect. He's in New York uh, taping a bunch of brand new Politically Incorrects. Claims he's taking on the mob. He ain't taking on anybody. Yeah, really. He's taking on the mob. The Taking on any mob. If he takes on the mob, he'll disappear in an ocean somewhere. Of these guys are really so dumb. He'll be with Chandra 
Levy if he's uh, in with the mob. Uh, Bill is shooting five episodes of Politically Incorrect in New York City beginning July 30th. The episodes are mafia-centric, featuring gangsters, prosecutors, and cops. But never mind that. We're going to do a great uh, Politically Incorrect this morning. I have some uh, great guests in the studio, Robin, as you can see. Uh, yes, let me... uh, one of our guests, who's been here a million times, was running around looking for the bathroom a few minutes ago. Who is that? Gary the Rejo. Yeah. All right. Go hey, Gary. You got lost. All right. Uh, everybody, let me first introduce uh, Gary the Retard, who is here to play Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher and be a panelist. How are you, Gary? Oh, pretty good. Got here about 12 o'clock, but I made it. All right. Great to see you here again. All right. And uh, Daniel Carver from the Ku Klux Klan, how are you? Doing fine, Howard. When did you get into town? I came in yesterday about dinner time. About dinner time, and you're ready to discuss the day's issues with Bill Maher of Politically Incorrect? Yeah, I'm ready. By Wasn't the... there some trouble finding Daniel? Was there a problem? Hey, Daniel, what's going on with you? Uh, you're so far in the mountains now, it's even difficult to get in touch with you. Isn't that the case? Uh, it ain't all that hard if you're a white man. A white man can always get in touch Gary, with you. Gary, I guess, That's is not right. a white man. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, Gary knows how to get in touch with me. Oh, all right. So, And you are wearing your full outfit, your Ku Klux Klan sheets. Uh, you are wearing all of it today. No, I, I left mine at home. This is one of yours you loaned me. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my. With your, uh, you don't, uh, he took my KKK uniform. I actually don't own one, but uh, Beetlejuice, uh, good to see you. You are here as well to play uh, politically incorrect and to sit on the panel and give your opinions. How are you? Pretty good. Yeah. Are you ready to talk about the day's issues? Well, you are. All right. And slow, Adam. How are you? Um, I'm I'm in a very good mood today. <laughs> Good. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just being a little bit nervous, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to answer these questions as as honest as I can. All right, Very good. good. All right, well, that's, that's the attitude. That's all we ask for. And uh, and the host of Politically Incorrect has taken his chair now. We've Let's got see a... how he looks. Are you in a good mood? <laughs> Are you in a good mood? <laughs> I'm always in a good mood when I'm with the clan. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I Bill, came in after dinner also. You know, about four. <laughs> You should be uh, very happy with this panel because these people, I believe, represent the real America. These are this is a, a cross section of America. You usually do politically incorrect with celebrities. And, well, these are celebrities. And these are celebrities in their own right. These are people who, through their own devices, have become known to America through the Howard Stern Show. And I'm one of them. Right. <laughs> Howard, when we book the show, we usually always uh, have a woman, at least one woman on the show. Yeah. Oh, is that what the happened? problem you have? Well, I'm sorry. We don't have a woman, but uh, we do have an interesting panel for you nonetheless. In fact, we asked some women to be on the panel. They were scared to come in here. <laughs> Are they ideologically balanced, this panel? That's very important. Yeah, well, Gary the retard, are you more of a conservative or a liberal? Liberal. You're a liberal. Liberal, huh? Yeah. No, but, you, uh, but you don't uh, like the Jews, right? No, 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 no. You He's do. liberal with his hatred. <laughs> no, I don't like the Jews. You don't? No. Right, all right. Well, so Daniel loves you. <laughs> that's it. Daniel, now you don't like the Jews either, right? No, I think the Jews are the devil. Right, so, <laughs> so I would say you two guys represent the more conservative side of things. Is that what you're calling them? Right? You're, you would consider yourself a conservative, Daniel? Yeah, I, I'm a conservative. Aside from your racist views, you seem to also have a political. A lot of family values. Like, are you for George W. Bush, or even he's too liberal? Well, it was, it was, he was the better of the choice we had. But then he went and hired Colin Powell. Yeah, he hired a black guy to be the... Uh, the... Well, he, he also opened up the border, and now we're being flooded with filthy Mexicans. <laughs> right. That was my first issue. <laughs> All right, well, I swear I'm... to God, right here, filthy Mexicans. <laughs> right, right on the front. <laughs> I'm not kidding. The biggest thing we got going today. This country's being overrun with them. Well, let's let's uh, let's uh, turn things over to Bill. But you asked who was liberal and who was conservative. I'd say Gary the Rechard and Daniel Carver the Ku Klux Klan are more conservative. Beetlejuice, are you a liberal? Me? Yeah. Nah. You're not. I'm not a conservative. You're conservative also? Could be, yeah. You could be, yes. You, wait, who was your uh, choice for president? Was it Al Gore or George Bush? I'm thinking it was George Bush. You do? You yeah. think? And that's who you voted <laughs> there for. There were only two people well, to vote for. Well, there's only three people you can vote for. Ah. Yeah. yeah, there were three. You're right. Oh, you're right. There was George Bush, Al Gore, and who else? Uh, Ralph Nader. Ralph Nader, right. <laughs> right. And that's right. You're right again, Beetlejuice. Uh, and Adam, are you considered a liberal or a conservative? Uh, a liberal. A liberal. Yeah. All right, well, I think we have a balanced panel. 
I think. <laughs> well, let's turn it over to we Bill Maher. We tried. We tried. All right. Let's turn it over to Bill Maher. Before we start, no offense, but I've, I've uh, gotten the introduction to all you guys. What is wrong with you? Slow Adam, you mean? Slow Adam. I just happen to have a mental illness. That's all. What is your mental illness? Because you seem... Well, I suffer from depression that my biological father had and my late grandfather had. And do you have a low IQ? No. You do not? I'm, not? Not that I know of. I never took an IQ test before. <laughs> but when you were in school, were you in the uh, slow class? The, no. You know? I was I was considered pretty smart. I was mostly a second honor student academically. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, think he, I think we got to get him out of here. <laughs> yeah, he's a little too bright. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> <laughs> going to throw off your curve, Howard. Your, yeah. your, hey, your audience is going to go, come on, what are you feeding us this intellectual crap for? <laughs> yeah, no. Where are the real people? No, slow Adam. But did he, uh, go, he didn't go to college. <laughs> yeah, you didn't go to college. And, yeah. and, no, I didn't. And you were in special classrooms. I got a high school diploma. Yeah, but what kind of high school? School. What was the name of the high school? It's called the Pathway School. It was a school for, for for people with uh, kids with uh, learning disabilities. Oh, okay. So there you go. So you you're not that bright. He's qualified. Oh, don't tried. be confused. Believe I, I me. I tried. Well, it's time to uh, play the uh, politically incorrect, not play, but to turn it over to Bill Maher. Yeah. All right, Bill. Well, let's jump right into that issue that which you uh, introduced for us, the uh, Mexican amnesty. The three million Americans, George Bush, uh, is uh, deciding whether to per turn into citizens. They are now here illegally. <laughs> Some people say this is pandering for the votes because George Bush is looking for that uh, Latino vote in the next election. What are your thoughts on this vital issue? Who well, are you throwing it to, Bill? You better give him some directions. Well, if you've ever seen the show, it's only been on eight and a half years. We nobody here has seen the show. No. <laughs> we don't no throw it to anyone. I'm telling you, you better throw it here. You better throw it out the door. <laughs> Instead of making them three million Lego, we need to send them back and the rest of them with them. We I didn't hear one word you Lego. said. No, <laughs> no, I didn't understand one word you said. Well, take them things off your ears and you'll hear me. I said we need to send all Mexicans back to Mexico. Oh, send all Mexicans back to Mexico. Well, he's answering your question. You asked the question. Yeah. I, I know. I just didn't understand the words. The guy, is, the guy has an opinion. Anybody else? Yes, it was heavily in? accented. Excuse me. Well, what are you saying? People from the South can't have an opinion? I just said it was, I didn't understand the words. All right. He wanted to give Daniel a chance to be heard, I think. Oh, I see. All right. I'm sorry, Bill. I don't mean no. to interrupt your show. <laughs> well, then don't. Uh, All right. How do you feel about that, Flo Adam? Uh, I, d I don't know much about that. Uh, I never really thought about, you know, me me Mexicans that much. But I have a few his his Hispanic friends that I sometimes try to be nice to. And I think if, w if we ever have a Hispanic uh, president, it wouldn't surprise me in the least. Well, me neither. We're going to have one because they're taking over. The little town I live in has got 50,000 George W. Bush is a scumbag anyway. We have a scumbag for a president. We, we should have gotten Al Gore. Al Gore would have made this country look better. I don't know if he would have or not. We had well, a choice to give it to the Africans or the Mexicans. It doesn't matter, though. I mean, George Bush has got Mexicans in his family, so we're going to give it to the Mexicans. Are they going to take it? We don't have to give it to them. They're breeding like rats. They're pouring across the border every day. The little town I live in has got 50,000 of them. We can't even read the signs on the side of the buildings the now. The town you live in, the we Beverly have... Hillbillies are on PBS. <laughs> <laughs> Be welcome there. Right. If you ever watch the Beverly Hillbillies, that's a good movie to watch. A good movie. Yeah. yeah. It is a good movie. Yeah, it is a good movie. The show oh, wasn't. Oh, Juice, how do you feel about the Beverly Hillbillies? But yeah, I love the book. Ain't much. What? You don't watch it? Watch. No. That's not your favorite show. What's your favorite show? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just decided. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Moving uh, on. <laughs> Billy, so you done our, with that topic? Let's, you want more on that? No, topic? no, no. Go ahead. You, you, you move the show along. You understand how to do it. You're, you're the host. <laughs> you're the host. <laughs> you, last time you, yes, I was the host. This time I have a lot of uh, kibitzers here. Oh, sorry. You know what kibitzers are, right? right? Bill, go ahead. We don't mean yeah. to interrupt. Okay. It's just so much fun. Stem cell research. Oh. Stem cell research? Never heard of that. <laughs> what is a stem cell? I don't know what a stem cell is. This is the first time I ever heard it. Oh. <laughs> Gary will know what it is. I no, no, no. You, do, you don't have any stem cell research information? No. Well, I know Daniel knows about it. 
Do you know what we're talking about? This is also President Bush's looming decision. They say it could be the one that decides his presidency. Of course, on the right, they do not want to go forward with stem cell research. They say it's a slippery slope toward abortion. I don't However, believe in abortion. I, I don't either. I'm, I'm, I'm against abortion. I, if, if, if I, but this is what I'm going to say. If they want to kill their own children for because they don't want to raise their children right now, that's that's okay with me. They're just going to realize that they're going to be the ones getting themselves in a lot of trouble. You sure you didn't go to special school? <laughs> okay, I see why you're here now. All right. Um, <laughs> the guy has an opinion. Daniel, However, Daniel Orson is another tool. But she used by the Jews. The only people getting abortions is white people. Mexicans don't have abortions. Blacks don't have abortions. It's just the white people. And it's you a th- tool used to destroy the white race. You think that mostly white people are getting the abortions and therefore there will be less are. white people in the world. It's a plot. Right. That's the a white plot. people should never get an abortion. So, no. right. Keep uh, every white baby. <laughs> do you, do you, believe, Gary, you, you believe that too? Keep every white baby? Keep every white baby they have. You know what? <laughs> they have with these abortions. You know what it does? They have it. You know what? They get, you know, they get everything taken care of. It. No more abortions. I don't think so. The woman should have the babies and do what they want to do. Just like anybody in your state. All over. What? <laughs> Someone's snoring. But I think the argument, just uh, snoring. The argument uh, for abortion sometimes is I'm that... Listen. Oh. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, Bill. You were making a point. Yes, the argument for abortion is that uh, sometimes some people that we bring into this world aren't welcome in this world, and there's no one there to take care for them or pay for them. What about that, Beetlejuice? Well, I think about it, but it is. Are you for or against abortion? Oh, we were against it. Against it? Yeah. Okay. Really? Because you... No, no mind. <laughs> so, let me ask you. Daniel is your name? Yeah, Daniel Carter. Uh, I'm getting the idea that you're uh, somewhat against the races that aren't your own. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, How'd you come I, up with I that? I love the white race. Yeah, I'm the white, white race. race. And what about slavery? What about it? Well, you think it was wrong? It was wrong to bring them over here to start with. We should have left them in Africa. The white man's weakness is looking for cheap labor. That's why we brought the African here. That's why we brought the Mexican here. We need to do our own work and send the Africans back to Africa, the Mexicans back to Mexico. But just because it didn't work with the blacks, we shouldn't throw it ain't out gonna the whole work program, the should we? <laughs> it's going to work less with the Mexicans. Try it with we- Canadians, perhaps? Canadians, we don't have a problem with Canadians because they can survive on their own. The blacks couldn't develop Africa. The Mexicans can't develop Mexico. They all coming in here living off of the white man. But certainly there are plenty of Latinos and blacks who have made a success in America. they made a success because of affirmative action and programs that we have to give it to them. It ain't because they were equal. Really? You think that's how Colin Powell got to be Secretary of State? Of course State? it is. He would never have made it as a white man. He fought in Vietnam. He, it, he fought in Vietnam. Did with you? So did I. You fought in Vietnam? I fought in Vietnam. With that hood on? <laughs> <laughs> He did. He is a, he is a, he is a vet. He is a uh, Vietnam vet. What yeah. did you say, Beetlejuice? What did you say? <laughs> well, Bill, what about some more topics? All right, well, we never really got to the stem cell research. I was going to say stem cell research. It holds... I want to know if Beetlejuice is ready to go back to Africa. Wow. Oh, hell no. He's got. He's in hey, a scary movie, too. I just like the same thing that everybody else is making. Right. What would you say? Exactly. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> yeah. They ain't going to give up that welfare check. <laughs> I right, go ahead, uh, Bill. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> you brought up Vietnam. Now, what did you all think of Bob Kerry's wrenching personal <laughs> admission a few months ago that during the Vietnam War he committed an atrocity which someone in his squad contended was an out and out massacre of women and children now the reaction in the media in this country was hey war is hell we really can't judge him there have been dissenting voices your thoughts Beetlejuice well it's, it's not a thought but well, it's just like it what you know, a lot of people don't like you know if they have it they could have had it you know they wouldn't have it mm. they don't wouldn't have thought it I'm going to wait for the translation. (laughs) There wouldn't be no translation unless they wouldn't be there. (laughs) Very good. Yes. I'm just leaving Bill on his own. In its own own way, very profound. (laughs) 
I'm sure Daniel's got a point of view. Yeah, what do you think about that? I mean, uh, in Vietnam, the, the Vietnamese were our enemy, whether they were women or children. I mean, the, the women and children harmed our soldiers uh, as much as the, the Vietnamese men. They were a threat to us. So you don't find a problem with lining up women and children in a village and shooting them? They were the enemy. We weren't there playing games. We was fighting a war. <laughs> You're our liberal. Certainly, you must have something to say about that. Uh, no comment. I, that one, I wasn't born when the war was happening at that time. Sorry. Oh, so, yeah. wow. <laughs> so what? Gary, you were alive for that. Oh. No, I was not. I was just a baby. <laughs> you wait wait a second. Now? First, let's get rid of this idea that just because you weren't born when something happens, you shouldn't know about it or don't have an opinion about it. Well, I'm 50 years old. I was in Vietnam at the age of 17. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Gary, how old are you? 49. Yeah, you were alive during Vietnam. No, he wasn't. No, I was not. I was just a baby. <laughs> what? Baby? <laughs> well, Why didn't you go to they, Vietnam? Gary, you were in high school during Vietnam. Yeah, but I didn't. What was your draft number? I, don't, I didn't have one. <laughs> All right, let's move on to national defense. <laughs> okay. President Bush is, of course, promoting his Star Wars research, as President Reagan called it, the missile shield. First of all, um... Let me ask you, which leg of our nuclear triad do you feel is the most vital? Who are you going to, Gary? Gary the retard? Yeah. I just call him Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I like President Bush. You do? That's yeah. the leg he likes, President wow. Bush. Yeah. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Beetlejuice? Which leg of our nuclear triad? And don't well, say the middle well, one. It's going to be a regular war, you know. It's going to be something like that. Right. Hmm. I agree with Beetlejuice. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> and what about the missile defense system that the president well, is proposing? Uh, it's a system that many of the critics say doesn't work, is too expensive, and will start a new arms race with Russia and China. Talking about Star Wars defense kind of stuff? Yes, we are. You know mm -hmm. Star Wars, right, Beetlejuice? Yeah, Star Wars is just like something else. It's just like people are in it, you know? Right, it's a good movie. Yeah, it's a good movie, but people just dying out of it. All right. No. <laughs> this is correct, you know? So Daniel, you would, just a little, uh, wouldn't that protect our borders if we had some kind of missile defense? Well, I don't think we need it all that much. We don't have a problem with Russia right now. Our problem was Mexico. Right. And, uh, but you do realize that we stole half we, of Mexico. We do, need a, we do need a strong military. You do realize that at one time, not that long ago. When I was in school, Russia was our threat. Everyone said Russia was going to bury us so slow we wouldn't even know we was dead. Right. But now Mexico is doing this the same way. They're moving in so slow and taking over, we don't even see it happening. Well, <laughs> they've, they've took our neighborhoods, they've took our schools, they... Now, now, where did you go? So what kind of defense would yeah. you like to see? Well, first of all, there's a nuclear missile under Daniel Carver's hat. <laughs> and he can blow all you up. He can blow all your asses up. You're damn right. <laughs> where, where do you live that the Mexicans are taking over? I live in Gainesville, Georgia. And there's Mexicans. town's got 100,000 people and 50,000 of them is Mexicans. Really? In and Georgia? In Georgia. Yeah. yeah. So you don't how realize that. How did that happen? Yeah, how did that happen, Daniel? Well, we have a lot of chicken plants, and the white man was looking for cheap labor, so they brought in the Mexicans. Hmm. We have a but lot of But that's the point, is that the Mexicans the do all the cheap labor in this country. This country could not survive without these people in this country, too. We do our laundry, wash our cars, blow our leaves, raise our children. We are becoming as decadent as ancient Rome. They're robbing us of our children. It's a little bit I through think mixed Britain, they're, they're robbing us of our children. I think they're good. They're, they're raising our children because they're, we are too lazy to do it ourselves. Our children. All white people ain't too lazy. There's a lot of them lazy and there's a lot of them cowards, and that's why we're allowing the Mexicans to come over here to start with. You know, when a white man wakes up, when 10% of the white men join together under the banner of the Ku Klux Klan, these Mexicans will be jumping all over each other trying to get back across the Rio Grande River. First of all, you're a manure salesman with a hat on. Okay, let's not, <laughs> let's not pretend that there is any more a Ku Klux Klan that is viable. How many people in the Ku Klux Klan in the entire United States? The, there's not that many members, but there's millions of like-minded people. Like-minded people. People that agree with me and are cowards. They're afraid. They're afraid they'll lose their job. They're afraid some black or well, black is going to burn so their house. 
This is a great addition. This is a great addition of politically incorrect. What a debate! I tell you, I tell you, I think I, I put think the missile, yeah. missile defense system shield will probably be a, a very good, strong defensive system for us to make sure our country's um, well functional and yeah. in society. So let me ask you this: <laughs> If you had a genius black guy or them, yeah, who would you rather live next to? I'd rather live next to him than than a, there's no such thing as a genius black guy. There isn't. No. There's been no black geniuses. <laughs> no. Daniel, Daniel, does it embarrass you that Gary Delavante treats his mom like a dirty Mexican? <laughs> All right, listen. This is Sam Kinison, by the way. All right, listen. I have to say, this was a great we politically incorrect. Oh, Bill looks more disturbed than ever. Than the last oh, time. Yeah. Uh, Beetlejuice, thank you. You were great. Eloquent. Thank you. You speak about the issues in a way that I think uh, was memorable. Yeah. <laughs> and I also think that you have a great career going. I don't think Bill realizes you're in two major films this year. I saw him yeah. in Son of the Beach. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Son of the Beach. Also, he was in uh, Scary right. Movie 2 and soon to be soon the star of Bubble Boy. Soon to be Bubble Boy. I don't right. think people realize that. I That's did right. know that. Yeah. And if you good. could give just a couple of your teeth to him. Uh, right. Hell, he don't have no teeth. That's the point I was making. <laughs> <laughs> and you have too many. You <laughs> see? Hey, it, it don't matter who I'm at. It don't matter what it don't matter what the tooth is. It don't matter. Right. All everybody had their own tooth. I ain't worried about nobody else's tooth. You can't handle the tooth. Right. You can't handle the tooth. Yeah, you can't handle the tooth. I've been more man than everybody else, but I can handle my own tooth. All right. <laughs> Right, Beetlejuice. Uh, and uh, you've made your point, Slow Adam. Uh, yeah. I'm so I'm impressed with some of your opinions there, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very good. I didn't know you were such a deep thinker. Well, I do try. And Daniel Carver, you answered the questions honestly. Whether people agree with you or not, you went in there and you said what you had to say. You do always, battle. I always try to be honest. You always were honest. And, uh, Bill, you have to be impressed with his honesty, at least. Yes. <laughs> and Gary the retard, <laughs> you surprised the hell out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. I told you to make him in New York. I make New York wake up and smell the coffee. <laughs> All right. Oh. You made New York wake up and smell the coffee. Well, listen, I, I don't usually give an answer at the end of the show, but just let me say, fellas, Get behind the stem cell thing, okay? <laughs> yeah. Really, really is something you want to get behind. Everybody should be for stem, stem cell, cell research. research. It really. could save all our lives. It could change things, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay? Yes, I believe everyone should be for that. I think yes. we have several candidates right here. Right. That's it could change what I was everything. Driving at. Let's, let's move this research forward, and next yeah, year maybe you'll be on Regis. Peter, just are you for it? You gotta move more for it. You gotta. Right. Uh, Bill, I do want to give you a plug because you've done such an excellent job here today. Uh, <laughs> your show is called Politically Incorrect. Yes. You say you're taking on the mob this week. What is that about? We taped some shows uh, out here at the uh, waterfront in Brooklyn, <laughs> right by the East River. Right. Uh, uh, all about the mafia, and it's on this week, and I think it's interesting. So. And you're not afraid to speak about the mafia? You're not afraid for your own uh, safety? As you see, I mix it up with the Klan. Right. By the way, when did the Klan start wearing loafers? That's, a, that's, uh, that's Daniel. He'll tell you. When, when he's with the Klan, that's probably the safest place he'll be. But, you know, that is a very gay shoe you have on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the panel comes to life. <laughs> Hey, there's nothing gay about Daniel, isn't that correct, Daniel? That's right. Well, that's a kind of a gay shoe. Nah, I'm just saying that if a, if you walked into a certain bar in New York, they would say, oh, oh they well, I ain't going to walk into no bar in New shoes. York. Yeah. They think he was a girl, Beetlejuice? <laughs> I know, so they know he had a girl shoes on. I thought it was like that. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, anyway, um... Well, Bill, it's always good to see you, and you've uh, hosted this. You've really done a great job hosting this. Always a pleasure, Howard. Yeah, and uh, to all my guests, thank you, uh, Gary the Retard. Right. Uh, Daniel Carver, do you want to give out uh, any of your plugs? Gary, your yeah, plug? Yeah, I got a plug. I won't tell everybody they can still order my catalog for $3, and the address is Post Office Box 446, Oakwood, Georgia, 30566. The catalog's now got about 90 pages. It's full What's of new? races. Any new? New items. What's new? Actually, I I got a website. I've got new flags, new hats, new T-shirts. It's 80 pages now, a little over 80 pages. Wow. And, again, and one of those Duraflame crosses that lights on the lawn by itself. <laughs> the only kind of racist item you can think of. 
You know one of his big sellers is? What? He's got a t-shirt, and it's got a picture of a black man, and you see a scope of a rifle, and it says, uh, we also have a dream. Yeah, I hope wow. not. Oh. All right. Right. Actually, I got my own website that Sal got me. It's called www.slowadam.com. And uh, it, what are you selling? What are you on there with? <laughs> what would you possibly have on a website? I got one picture so far, but Sal, next time when <laughs> Sal comes here, I'm going to hand him more pictures for my website. All right. Plus, I'm going to be involved in an independent film. Oh, independent what? film? He said he was going to get me involved in one. So, <laughs> yeah. so I just got a message for Sal. Sal, call me on Thursdays. That's the only day off I have. You're working now? Not yet. No. Oh. But I want to make real money. <laughs> but you have a day off on Thursday, but you're not working. Nah, I just want to wait until I get involved in the acting business. So I can <laughs> yeah. I, I it's easier to get the day off out. first. <laughs> Adam, if you're off on Thursday, but you don't work, what do you do on the other days? Just uh, clean the bathroom. Uh, you're bathroom. living in a group house now? No, not yet. No. You're uh, at your own I, I I'll talk to you about it sometime in the near future. All right, it's complicated is what you're saying. Now, what is this right. picture of? What kind of picture is it? It's a picture of Slow Adam. No, it isn't, Howard. What I, is it? I don't know what Sal's doing, but it, there's a picture. There's like three pictures. You know, one says Slow Adam's limo, and it's a wheelchair. <laughs> I know. I laughed at that. All right, now let, let the other people have a plug, for God's oh, sakes. There's the website right there. It's up on your screen. You can see it. Hey, Howard. Right. Yes. I'm not starting my own website, too, but I ain't got it started. But the guy named Michael, when it called you on the phone, Last Monday, so he's going to help me get it up. I already got one started. It's pretty really funny. All right, you're going to have your own website. Yep. Uh, Daniel, do you have a website yet? No, I don't have a website. <laughs> Why I, is the I sell on everything the through the mail. Everything is done through the mail. I would. Well, you get and, your computer and just visit. Right. And what, what about and what about uh, Beetlejuice? You're at JollyDwarf.com, right? Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, people can book you for a uh, dwarf tossing and other things. Nah, no we don't, more. We don't, we don't do that anymore. No, you're done with that. Yeah. But just, you still do bachelor parties. Yeah, we only do bachelor parties. Do you still get naked at the parties and walk around? Yeah. No, we just, I just sit there, you know. I get my groove on. Right, okay. You know. And, uh, Bill, you don't have a... You convinced me. Laid, You're right you know? about the black people. <laughs> I just got to get laid, you know? That's the whole party you got to live. What? Right. What was that? What was that? Go to kissonline.com. Thank you, Gene. Yes, yeah, see, what is it? Hey, you know, Bubble Boy's coming out to play right there with Beetlejuice. It, it's 82 minutes long. He's in like 30 something minutes of it. Yeah, Beetlejuice, you have a huge part in that. A yeah, lot of people, I had to, yeah. A lot of people were disappointed in Scary Movie 2. They felt there wasn't enough Beetlejuice. Well, they get enough of me because I'm the best. That's why. Right, okay. And and so we look forward to that. Bill, what a great uh, show you put yeah, on today. It was <laughs> it was everything I'd always dreamed of when I, <laughs> when I started this concept. When I come back, I will join Cabby and uh, Lisa Moskowitz Mateau. Yeah, you don't know what we're up to today. I do. Yeah, <laughs> we are going to start digging for right. the body of Chandra Levy. According to Lisa Moskowitz, who is in touch with Chandra Levy, when we begin digging, we will find an arm there. Her body's in four separate places. And this is very serious what we're doing. <laughs> Actually, how you know, Lisa wants to come concept. on the phone right now. Lisa she's wants to come on the phone. No, no, she won't even come on right now. Why? Because she's busy she's in the trance. She's you know working. <laughs> working. <laughs> All, right. All right. So I must move along. I want to thank my guests and Bill Maher from Politically Incorrect, and we'll be back right after these words. Somebody drop the old zone. All right. A couple of quick things. Uh, first, let's just meet Billy, who wants. To, he's begging us to meet Beetlejuice of all people, and he says he'll take a punch to the nuts to meet uh, Beetlejuice. I, I, I don't really understand that. Getting hit in the nuts. I mean, can't you meet Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice is out and around. Yeah, it can't be that difficult. A lot of weird stuff in the air today. It's Friday, and uh, I mean, I even look at the phone call. There's a guy on who wants to show me his really small penis. Why do you want to show me that? Hold on a second here. I, gotta, I just got to know. Why do you want to show me your really small penis, William? Why me? William? Hello? Uh, you're not William. No, I'm not. No. Says, says on my list here, your name is William. No, my name is Sarah. Well, Sarah, do you want to show me your really small penis? <laughs> if I had one, I'd be glad to show it to you. Is that the wrong line? Uh, no. Oh. It's just stuttering John. Well, that explains it. Hi, uh, what is your name, sir? This is, uh, oh, you're Billy, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, this is uh, this is Billy. Yeah, nice to meet you. Hey, Billy, you look like you haven't been out in the sun in about ten years. Yeah, and I, I've got the acne, and yeah, I'm a pretty ugly guy. 
You're, you have acne? Why wouldn't... If I had acne, the first thing I'd go on was Accutane. Have you uh, heard of it? Well, see, I'm poor, so I can't really afford that kind of stuff. I would the get a job. still struggle with acne, huh? Yeah, the I poor. would get a job, and I would take every penny. I wouldn't eat. Well, I have two jobs, and... How much is Accutane? I don't know. I haven't really checked, but I haven't been to a dermatologist or anything. Else. What kind of what kind of a job uh, do you have? Two jobs. That don't. Where's your money going? Yeah. Well, um, actually, I'm in debt, so I have two jobs. I work for my father's uh, business. You're a young guy. How could you be in debt already? Uh, well, well, how did you run up such a debt? I only have one credit card, and I don't know. I had problems with my old roommates, and they. How old are you? I'm 22. 22, and you're in debt. How much money do you owe? Uh, about a grand. Oh, a grand. But wait a minute. He had this acne early. Why didn't his parents get him treated? Uh, I guess they didn't really think it was that much of a problem. They don't want to help you out? I don't see any bad acne, though. Hmm. You don't look see that it. Yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. see well, I'm, I'm still an ugly guy. Well, Robin's right next to You're not an ugly guy. Oh, okay, thanks. The sun will, the sun will actually clear that up. Yeah, it's from, done. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, maybe if he got outside and, and, and walked around. The ironic thing is I'm actually from Florida, so, I mean. Uh, you don't have a tan? No. Good Lord. No. You might be mentally disturbed. You want to get punched in the nuts to be Beetlejuice. What, is this, you got to be kidding me. No, I am actually that much of a fan of Beetlejuices that I'm willing to do that. Well. What will happen to you when you meet Beetlejuice? I'll probably start. You won't feel so ugly? I won't feel so... No, hey, he's not bad looking. What do you oh, I think he's good looking. Look he's me actually an attractive guy, and uh, I really respect him. I mean... Are you gay? I'm not gay. I'm not homosexual. Sure. I right. do like vaginas. Good for you. Thank you, sir. Are you uh, wearing those dark glasses for a reason? Yeah. Yes, I, I am, Robin. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're talking to uh, Billy. Yeah, why are you wearing dark glasses? Well, I just... I The sun is my enemy, and I know there's bright so lights funny. in here. Are you an albino? I'm not an albino. Do I look like an albino? Hey, you kind of look a little albino. I'm just, no, I'm not albino. I'm just really, really nervous right now. I'm ready, uh, about ready to make a meatloaf in my underwear. Really? Yeah. A meatloaf? <laughs> Never heard anybody put it that way. Well, that'll add some color to you. <laughs> Quite possibly. I feel. F I just don't understand getting punched in the nuts. There's nothing worse in the world than getting punched in the nuts. Have you well, been punched? I mean, every guy's experienced that, haven't they? By the way, if you're working up a meatloaf, can you throw a salad in there, too? <laughs> I'm hungry. Side You'd of like potatoes. a little side of salad? <laughs> yeah. Well, Billy, uh, I don't know. Should we punch him in the nuts? Yeah. Hey, Howard. But what is that, Casey? What, what, what we made here is we made a, a little contraption. It's a big boxing glove with a stick. <laughs> My so. problem with this is suppose you injure the guy. Yeah, I don't want to punch him in the nuts. Dude, I'm not. If you injure me, I'm not going to, like, sue the show. Yeah, right. You say a, that I can now. sign a waiver or something. I mean, uh, I, want, I want to meet Beetlejuice. Hey, it's friendly. You work him over a little bit. <laughs> let me use that on you, Casey. Casey, okay, let me punch you in the nuts. But if <laughs> Punching a guy in the nuts. Yeah, have you, you been punched in the nuts before, sir? I've been through a lot of pain, and I'm willing. I mean, I'm able to take it. Really? But the only thing I ask, if, if I'm going to get punched in the balls, I'd rather, when somebody punches me, I want someone to punch me in the face also at the same time to kind of, you know, take yeah, my mind off the Why don't we let him just meet Beetlejuice? This is a clearly <laughs> yeah. unstable. Man, you are unstable. You know yeah, that. You're not unstable. dragging us. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Have you ever been institutionalized? No, sir. Have you ever been medicated? Uh, no. All right. Unstable. I mean, I'm just. You uh, want to be punched in the face and punched in the nuts to well, meet Beetlejuice? If I have to, you know, if I have to go through that to meet Beetlejuice, I'll. Do if it. I bring Beetlejuice in here, what's going to happen? You're going to talk with him one on one? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to let, be quiet. I'm going to make your dream come true. Okay. Well, I might. I might. You know. This is a. Dr <laughs> you might what? I might be really nervous at first because you know I'm a big. He's fan. a big star. If this is a dream I can help you with. <laughs> There's very few I could, I could get you breast implants or I could I could let you yeah, introduce need, you to Beetlejuice. I don't need breast implants and I don't well, want my brother to go to Bunny Ranch. Within three seconds, you're, less than three seconds, your hero is going to walk in here. Here it is. Do, okay. Beetlejuice. Oh, he's getting all nervous. Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? There's Beetlejuice. Uh, I can bend. Beetle, to see. great to see you, my brother. What's going uh, on with Beetlejuice? No, I'm better. Beetle, why are you wearing a boxing outfit? Uh... You... I'm going to show a little Hank something inside. I got spot him up a little bit. Oh, Hank's not here. Oh, Hank, yeah. You had a big fight with Hank on the air the other day. Oh, yeah. I'm going to teach him a lesson. <laughs> right. Uh... Set him up a little bit for you. That's for you, Howard. Hey, thank you, Beetle. Hey, Beetle, by the way, uh, standing next to you is a guy who was willing to get punched in the nuts to meet you. He's such a fan of yours. This guy loves you. Oh, he loves to get punched in the nuts. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's your he kind of person. He loves to get punched in the nuts. Let me do it for you. <laughs> Let me start this for you. Beetle Juice, I'd be honored to have you punch me in the nuts. Oh, you like that, huh? I don't like it, but I like you. Okay. Let me let me demonstrate for you. Okay, de <laughs> demonstrate for me. Go ahead. All right. No, no, no. Don't don't hit me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, let me demonstrate for you. Let me eat my eggs for a little bit. What are you doing with those eggs over there? What are you doing with yeah, eggs? He's got a carton huh? of eggs. Why do you have a carton of eggs with you? What? 
what, this? Yeah. The eggs This is a glass. Yes. And this is an egg. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you how this demonstration, how to, how to drink this. You're going to drink raw eggs? This? Why are you drinking raw eggs? Are you boxing now? I'll show you how to do it. It's very professional how you feel. What? Are you are you involved in boxing and some? Boxing? This is how you do it in boxing for three years. Right. I've been doing this for four, four years. All right. You eat raw eggs for breakfast every morning? Yeah. All right. And All then right. You're going to demonstrate? Billy, I'm going to let you talk to Beetle in a second. Yeah, but, I'm, but it's Beetle, just a straight. This is how we're going to do it. Beetle clearly has a routine here he wants to uh, perform. <laughs> All right. Let me take this. All, right. All right. Go ahead. Do it, Beetle. All right. I'm going to crack the egg for you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one. Now he's already lost. <laughs> All right. Beetle has handed a glass to Casey. Casey is holding the glass. Beetle is taking out an egg. He's taking out an egg. He cracks the egg into the glass, much one like handed. in the Rocky movie. One-handed. You're terrific there at that, you Beetle. You know, a lot of chefs can't do that. Beetle, you should start a cooking show. <laughs> You cracked one egg. You seem to be cracking a second egg. Is that correct, Beetle? It's all right. It don't matter. What? What, what does it matter? It don't matter how. All right. Beetle, what are you doing now? Don't figure that out. But, well, What's he doing? What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> it don't matter. Oh, Beetle, it, don't it, it doesn't matter. It Beetle, don't matter. Beetle, you dropped the glass. Throw it in away. You dropped the glass on the ground. Uh, we have rotten egg all over our. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. No, you don't have to clean it, Beetle. You're don't a worry about it. I'll You're a celebrity. Clean it up. You're a celebrity. We can't ask you to do that. Don't worry. I'll clean it up. You, you don't, don't have, have to worry about that. You don't have you know, to. No, in in life, Beetlejuice, you got to break some. Don't eggs. worry. It's just like a professional. You don't. It's have about to time Mike Ganji does something around here. Ganji <laughs> knows it's a professional. Right. It's a professional way. Beetlejuice, honor me by having uh, Billy, your biggest fan, talk talk with Billy. I thought he was going to punch me there. I know. He looked no. like he was going. No, down. he's not going to punch you. Go ahead, Billy. Well. How are we going to do this? What? Well, it's going to be the fashion all This ain't real. Right. This is not real. Beal, this is Billy. He wants to talk to you. Well, Billy, if you want to nice do this, <laughs> just, give me, just give me the score. If you want to do it, just do it. Do, do what? Do what exactly? If you want me to hit you in the balls, just ah! tell me. I'll let you hit me in the balls if uh, if you allow me to hang out with you tonight. Yeah, What are sure. we going to do? We're going to go to a car tonight. All right, cool. Are you going to pick We're going to go to Go-Go Bar tonight. Howard is going to be on Howard for, for, the, for the day. Good. Right. All Good. right. Did you know you were picking up the tab? I'm just letting these two guys talk. <laughs> okay. So, okay, yeah. Are you, okay. Okay, go for it. No, no, no. Don't no, hit okay. him. Yeah, we're going to go for it. No, we're don't. Go. Don't beat. No, we're going to go beat, for please it. Please don't. No, we're going to go for no, it. No, no, no. Don't hit no. him. No, Billy, don't allow this. No, we're not. Okay. We're going to go for it. No. How, we're going to go for it. No. Don't do oh, it. Oh, my God. Don't do it, Billy. No, no. It, it's not real, Howard. It's not? No. Nah. you know how to do this not real? No, it's not real. All right. It's all it's fake. It's not real. All right. It's all right. If it's fake, it's fake. It's all fake. All, all right. right. Is it going to feel fake? It, I mean, it's all fake. It's not real. It's does all he know fake. how to pull a punch? Wait, no, it's all fake. Billy, I wouldn't do that if I were you. No, this is all fake, Howard. Billy, why are you doing this? this is well, all, I mean, this, he wants. This is all fake, Howard. I, obviously, it's fake. <laughs> this is all fake, Howard. Well, I wouldn't do it. I made it up. This is all fake. All right. It's all fake. Okay. Make sure it's fake. Well, if I can't talk after I d I'm done with this, can I come back and talk again when I'm, you know, my voice? No. Okay. Yeah, no I told yeah. you not to do you it. Could, okay, no, could. no, I can't. No, 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 no. It's all fake, dude. It's well, all okay, fake. Okay, uh, uh, please, describe with me by fake. All right, just, yeah, yeah, just yeah. get it over with if you're doing yeah, the fake it's all thing. fake. Dude. Whatever you're going to do, just do it. It's, yeah. it's all fake. It's not, not really real. It's me. all fake. You're not going to hit me? No, it's all fake. Okay, go for it. It's all fake. It's all fake. Don't really hit me, Beetlejuice. Oh, very good. <laughs> See? It's uh, all you fake. faked it. You faked it like in the wrestling. Yeah, it's all, all fake. Right. That oh, was a good man. job. <laughs> it's all fake. Oh. So, um, right there, it's all fake. <laughs> Nothing like a fake silent punch on it's the radio. It's all fake. <laughs> you had to see it. Thank you. You trust me, see? I trusted you. I trusted see? you. See, it's all fake. Right, okay. It's not real. It's all fake. So can I still uh, go to the go-go bars with you tonight? Yeah. Are you, okay. a, yeah, you could. All right, well, a dream I has got you with me. Oh. You know, you're on my side, dude. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. All right, Billy. I'll fit you up you anything you want to go, bro. Right. Okay. So, Billy, you're going to be hanging around? How is how is me. He's my best friend, you know. Everywhere you want to go, we go to any bar you want to go. 
Any bar? Any bar you want to go in, in New York. Okay. Any one you want to go. Beetlejuice, can I um, say a few things to you? Yeah, sure. All right, man. I just I want to let you know that you are the most inspirational person in my... Uh, see, I'm a comedy writer. I'm trying to... Yeah, comedy writer. I'm a writer. And just... I, I think you are the most comedic. Right. The most talented comedic genius. Right. And your mind is just the most interesting thing. Right. Right. I just... I can't... Uh, I can't quite fathom like how your mind works. Well, my mind, my mind works pretty good. Like how you, I understand that, but how you think, it's just the most. I think it's a lot, dude. <laughs> I compromise. I don't know. Just whenever, like you know, I'm down or anything like that. Right. I listen to like you or the right. show. I, I actually have videos of you on the on the TV show and yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I play that stuff and. Yeah. It does actually make me happy. Make, I mean, yeah, you make I'm a me, good writer. I'm a good talk player. I'm a good writer, dude. You can make me laugh. I mean, no matter. I how, can make you laugh. I can make you smarter. I can make your wife smarter. And it's it's not. I, that, I got have sex with your wife. I make her smarter. Well, I'm not married, but. <laughs> uh, you can, Beetle, you're saying if you excuse me for a minute, if you if you have sex with his wife, she will get smarter. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry. To I didn't interrupt. know you had that incredible talent. Go ahead, Billy. I didn't right. mean to interrupt. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. And I just want to let you know that when I laugh at you, right. it's not actually at you. It's, right. You know, with you. I mean, because like, there's. Right. I, I think you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. I know. That's what I'm doing, man. You know what you're doing. That's right. I know. That's what I'm doing. You know how to make people laugh. That's right. All right. I made it laugh. I made it smart. This Where actually, are you now, Beetlejuice? Me? Yeah. I'm in the end zone, honey. All right. I'm in, I'm in comment, baby. All right. Howard, this is actually a dream come true, man. It is, right? It come true. It is. Casey. I can make you have a woman in your whole life. Thanks, Casey, for hooking me up with this, man. Well, Casey ain't got nothing to do with this. It's just between me and you. It's between you and I? Me, Casey, he don't have nothing to do with it. Me, Casey, is my friend. You know? But he won't be with you tonight. No, Casey will be with me tonight. Yeah. He's my bodyguard for the night. Oh. All right. Casey's well, with me for bodyguard for me for the night. Prepare to be attacked, then. nobody but Well, if I go to No Vegas tonight, Casey's going to be my bodyguard for the night. All right. For, for All right. No Vegas well, tonight. Well, Beetle, let me tell you this. Thank you for making this guy's dream come true. It's like make a wish. Right. And Boy, I'm not dying, so... I mean. Yeah, and, and congratulations. Don't worry about it. I'll make you laugh, brother. All right. Congratulations to Beetle and Billy. Thank you. And Beetle, by the way, will be in Bubble Boy opening August 24th in theaters everywhere. Beetlejuice and Sean want to thank director Blair Hayes. And to hire Beetlejuice for bachelor parties or club parties or movies, you go to jollydwarf.com. That's right. If you want to do that, I make all parties you anything you want to be. Beetlejuice, have you been drinking? You kind of smell like some alcohol. Alcohol? Yeah. That's liquor. Lick, oh, you've been drinking? <laughs> Lick it all the way, straight up, brother. What have you been drinking? Me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what are you drinking? What are you Me? I drink vodka straight up, brother. Were you, really? Were you, were you drinking all night With tonight? no ice, brother. You were probably up all night, right? Because you're like... Me? You know, you... I can stay up all night. Drink all night long. And dude. you're a celebrity, too, so you're always hanging out in the bars, right? Oh, I can oh. hang out in the bar all night. Drinking all day long. That's cool. 24 hours. We're going to stay up all night tonight, right? Me? Yeah. I, I can stay up 24 hours. I don't leave until 6 o'clock tomorrow. For... Oh, it's all right. Okay. We can deal with that. All right, that's cool. All right. And, uh, Howard, now that I'm on your show, I just want to I just want to say something. Um, this isn't uh, material. I'm actually responsible for the disappearance of Shander Lee. Well, don't worry about that. We'll take care of that. <laughs> Me and I will take care of that in a couple of days. <laughs> Okay. You uh, oh, you abducted Chandra Levy? Are you being serious? I'm being serious. All right. Well, where, where is she? Where, where is she, she then? Be serious. Where will we take it? She's uh, under my bed in Florida. Yes. And Florida? Yeah. Well, I live in Florida. My sister lives in Florida. I live in California. <laughs> Anybody can live in Florida. My sister lives in Florida. Beetle, just, this man I can is, take care of this This time. man is confessing to a crime. Well, well, he's right, though. What, well, if he's right? in the crime, look at me. I've been in prison for five years. I've been in crime for years. Why did you go to prison, though? Where were you in prison? Wait a second. Not an F word. Man. Wait. You, you did what? No, what no, did no, you, no. What did no, you do, Bill? I, I shot a guy in the head. Wait. Why did you shoot him? Shoot him for. Know what I shot him for? Yeah. What? So I know nothing. He's begging for it. All right. Well, Beetle, did you kill did John the guy F. Kennedy? Die? Me? Yeah, yeah. You did. You killed John F. Kennedy? Yeah. You did? Yeah. All right. Huh. That's what I thought. But did the guy die, Beetlejuice? Yeah. Oh. John F. Kennedy died. Oh. 
Wow. But I am serious about that Chandra Levy thing. You abducted her. Yeah. No. Do you have no. any proof? <laughs> I don't think he's don't for real. He don't have no proof. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have the balls to do that. He don't have no proof. I don't have I the balls a mask to do that. He didn't have no proof. I have the balls to get hit with his giant ass boxing glove, but I don't have the balls to abduct someone. You're right. You're, You're right. No, we hope you didn't do that. I didn't. All right. You never know. All right, listen. This, uh, is, this has become the Twilight Zone. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, oh, it, I have to move along because uh, <laughs> I move really for no reason. For no reason. I think we're done. I, I think we're done. That's all. It's Be done. Beetle, thanks for coming by. And I want to thank uh, Billy, who came in. And, and, and good luck to you guys. I hope you enjoy yeah, each other. Thank you. I hope you, you enjoy, much. Howard. And they got, they got love you, honey. Oh, he is but young today. I want you in a place with me. Baby. All right. You want Robin? I want Robin with me in the club with me tonight. All right. I'm going to sing a song for tonight. Sing a love it's song gonna, to her. It's going to be a real love for her. You sing a love song to her and she'll come. Sweetheart, I love you, baby. You never see me in only in love. Mm -hmm. You got to be try like love, baby. You got to accept me. Beautiful. If you're going to have sex with me, baby, make sure you're in love. Wow. You know? Wow. All right, Beetle. Listen, um, <laughs> will you put your DNA on Robin's back? Yeah. You sure will. I will. Yeah. All right. Well, you're Any in for good night. Any sex you want to be. Well. Sideways, backwards, any way she want to be. All right. Sideways or backwards. That's right. <laughs> I can listen and to you I, all day, you and know. And plus, I got a porno coming out for, for her. You got a porno just for me. That's right. Hey. Just for you and me, you. Oh. <laughs> Is Beetle just mad at me? What? Why? I was walking down the hallway, and I saw him, and I go, I was going to go talk to Joey Pants, and I go, hey, Beetle, just what's happening? He goes, what's I up? Say, what's up, bag? How you been? Get to say, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hear stuff that, pal. Why are you mad at Gary? Gary? Yeah. Yeah, he's my boy. I like mess with him because he's my scumbag. I like to mess with him. <laughs> I like talking about it because he's my best friend. That's why I love him. Oh, he's too much to that. You are lit. Woo. He knows my man. He's got my back. I ain't had to worry about nothing. Well, Gary. As long as he's in no Vegas, he's my man. Gary's my scumbag, too. So. <laughs> hey, Gary's your scumbag. Hey. <laughs> hey, don't forget, I got a lot of fighters coming out this weekend. Right. A lot of Fridays. Ain't no Vegas, so <laughs> don't even worry about of, that. I got a lot of Fridays coming out this weekend. All right. I got a lot of fights coming on Fridays. All right. So uh, I got a lot of fights. Ain't no Vegas. So All right. Hey, Beetle. Like about that. It's great. To, yeah. Hey, Howard, he's telling you that he's got fights coming out in Las Vegas. I mean, he was telling me that he was training, uh, was it Lennox Lewis? No, I got Larry Lewis that I trained this weekend. You're training? You're training with Lennox Lewis? No wonder yeah, you lost. I'm training him this weekend. <laughs> I thought it was Felix Trinidad. It is. Uh, <laughs> it is. It is. I'm training him this weekend. All right. Just in no Vegas. In no, no Vegas. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's going to be a big fight. All right. All right. Trinidad? That's right. Okay. It's going to be a big fight. You're going to be training him. That's right. Would you he's going to win. He's going to win. Well... Let me tell you, this is amazing, but uh, I, all good things must come to an end beat. It is going to come to the end because I got, I got a lot of days for him to do it. All right. I got a lot of training to do. Let's see some of your moves, Beetlejuice. No, I ain't got no moves, no, but no. I got a lot of training. That's for him. Uh, all right. Listen, Beat, we're going uh, to be alive. We're going to take a break. You'll go off with Billy, your new friend, your new boyfriend there. Wait, That's right. What? Yeah. No. Hey, hey. It's going to be, but he's my friend, but I'm taking care of him. Right. And, uh, Beetle, thanks for making this guy's dream come true. Billy, good All luck right. to you. Thank All you, right. Howard. All right, Beetle. Bye, Beetlejuice. Bye, Bye baby. I take I'll, I'll be out of sex with me in the next two years. <laughs> All right. I got to I gotta take a break. I'll be you smarter, baby. You better be ready. Thanks, Beat. Oh. You're rocking, Howard. Bye-bye. <laughs> There he goes. Here goes Beetlejuice. Wow. Spilled an egg on the floor. Um, hey, by the way, um, <laughs> Tony, you're on the air. Hey. Hey. You still there, Howard? Yeah. I, mean, I can go get him if you want. Oh, I'd love to talk to him for a second. I know how to set him off real well. How do you, you the guy who always pisses Beetlejuice off? Yeah. Well, what do you always do? You just, you, all you got to do is just say a couple of words. All right. Let me hear you do it. All right. Hey, Beat. Somebody wants to talk to you on the Pete, phone. Somebody wants to talk to you on the phone, this guy, this guy named Tony. Do you know a guy named Tony? 
You're in such a good mood. I hate to. Yeah, he's been having a great. Oh, no, Beetle's the greatest. I, I love him. You love Beetle? I love Beetle, but what? All right, here he's on the air right hey, now. Hey, what's up? What's up, my man? Go, oh, man. Remember my guitar? Yeah. You do, right? Yeah. Blue. Yeah. What's up with that? Go, go, brother. Well, what's up with that? What's up with what? You know. Hey, what else you got to do? Listen, what's going on? Nothing going on, brother. You know what's going on. What is it? How much you weigh now? Me? I I'm weigh 250. You. What's up? I'm much bigger than you. I don't think so. Dude, I'll take you down. I don't think so. You remember what I did last time? You don't think so, buddy. What are you drinking I... now, drunk boy? Drunk boy? Yeah. Why don't you come find out, you little tough guy? I ain't a tough guy. You're the tough no, guy. No, you the tough guy. You're the tough guy. No, you the tough guy. Tough enough? I don't think so. You better pump her up before I knock you out, dude. You can't even knock out a fly. You can't even knock yourself out. You're a punk. You knock yourself out when you're you drink and fall down. You're a punk. You're I'm punk. a punk. I'm a you're punk. punk. You're a punk. I'm a punk. You be the frog. If I'm a frog, look at you, you little squirrel. Well, who's you? You don't even know. I'm six feet nine. You don't nine. even know me, you faggot. I'm six uh, feet nine, one thousand four hundred sixty two I don't care how old are you. You're I weigh two hundred two eighty, boy. What are you got, boy? Two hundred two eighty. That makes four eighty. I knock you out, boy. I'm four eighty. That don't mean nothing. I'm blue, I weigh too. twice more than you, boy. I'm blue, and I got long hair. You ain't got no long hair, boy. I got more. I, my hair is longer than yours, boy. I got three legs, too. You got three legs and three arms, No, boy. you don't. You got three arms and three legs. Not in my greenhouse, you yeah. know. Your girlfriend got three arms and three legs. My girlfriend's right here, and I'm going to put her on the floor Put her on. Put her on. All she got right, three then legs I'm going to put her on. She got you want to talk to a girl? Legs. You can't talk to a lady. Yeah, you can't put it on, put it on. Hold on, what do you got? Right now. What do you got? What do you got? Hi, Beetlejuice. What's up, sweetheart? How are you? How you been? Hmm? Your husband think he's so tough. He think he's, he's trying to be all tough because you were around him. Yeah, well, he's tough. He's big, but I'll take care of him for you. Cause Thank I like you, honey. You. I appreciate that, honey. All right, well, okay, <laughs> there it is. All right. You have a good one. Thank morning. you. Have a good night, baby. I love you. I love you, Beetlejuice. I love you, too. Well, I love you very much. Oh, uh, you have fun tonight with your new friend. Yeah, I All love right. you. I want you to come to my party tonight, baby. All right, well, Tony uh, got into a bit of a fight with you, Beetle, but uh, you took care of him, and that's what counts. Beetlejuice unwound. Yeah. Unbound. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you, uh, Beat, once again. Uh, Tony? Thank you. Tony? Well, yeah, hold on. Yeah. This one. Hi. Hi. Tony, uh, she didn't sound very angry. No, I was trying to get her going, but she was <laughs> You can get Beetlejuice going, not your wife. <laughs> yeah, well, Tony, uh, you have anything? Hey! Yep. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Howard. All right, Tony. Beetle thanks. is the man. You got to keep more him. He's, he, give him Jackie's job. <laughs> right. I hear you, baby. All right. And no more AJ. All right, thank you, Tony. I hear you, baby. I'll talk to you later, buddy. All right, well... Uh, is that one of your friends, Beetlejuice? Yeah. <laughs> He's a good friend of mine. I All right, it. anyway, Beat, I'm going to take a break now. Thanks for talking to the Thank listeners. Thank you, Howard. All right, good luck. And I'll call you back soon or later, Howard. All right, thanks, Beat. And, and, and you? Yes. I'm going to have you with me for the sex show for the night. Uh -huh. All right, hey, Sugar Daddy, what is it? That's me and you, baby. Sugar Daddy, what is it? Alone. He's gone, all right.